Yeah, why don't you just show them? I will show everybody. Actually, I think I already have a picture. Uh, then, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put it in in game rather than picture spam. And you can all tell me kind of what you want to do. Yeah, well, I. Uh, yeah, we'll get there. We're we're doing pretty oh, good. Oh, whoops! I was so far zoomed in. We were just on a black screen. I didn't think we'd start it. I'm dumb. <laughs> Was so far zoomed in. Um, well, we were just on a black screen. I didn't. Just think for the record, I'm done. I uh, my computer is doing some so things. In, so well, we, we don't actually have Rule Twenty just open right for now. For the record, I'm done. I uh, my computer. It's okay, people can use their words. Um. Yeah. Okay, so last I recall, we were encountering this creepy janitor, um, who is a skeleton man. Creepiest uh, of January totally janitors. Um, we all we found that there are a couple different secret doors. One leads to his um, off or the office of the librarian, and one leads to a stairway. Uh, but there was nothing else here. I know that um, we've kind of been keeping things moving so that we don't have to have any real talk about. The fact that uh, we've made some questionable decisions. Um, <clears throat> and I'm more than happy to keep that train going and <laughs> to to go down the stairs and uh, just make sure we've found all of the tools that would be useful to us to fight Strahd. Although we found quite a lot. Worth um... Mimi doesn't want to go yet. She wants to learn more about the library. Okay. Go ahead. Um, there was a door to the south that people didn't go in yet, right? That's the stairway. Correct. I think we probably peaked, but... Yeah, that was the stairway that led down behind the statue. Mimi wants to find the librarian. Uh, did... did and we didn't go down there? No. Well, I mean, you were down there previously. Oh. Like, you remember, you remember, at, like, the base of the statue? Yeah, that's where this leads to. Oh. Okay. Um. So. Skeleton person who I forgot what I was planning to call him but I don't think it was mentioned anyway um is the librarian a, f a fox person he says no why why would the librarian be a fox person that's ridiculous okay just just checking the receptionist <laughs> is a fox person you have a great receptionist, very respectful. I think he's dead. He no, says, no. Oh, I'm sure he's not dead. He's just, he's probably just sleeping. Um, have you seen the librarian? He says, not in a long time. Why, it's probably been... I don't know. What time is it? Yes. Um, maybe noon. I see. What day is it? What calendar system are we using? Um, um, we're using Stradian time. How we're... many years has it been since the fall of Flan? The uh... dessert. Actually, wait, didn't didn't that happen pretty recently? Wasn't there, didn't like Flan have a major, wasn't that part of uh, it getting, uh, the, the big adventure, the one, the, you know. The oh. Stuff. I think that would be three years ago, based on what I know of the timeline. I don't know. You might be thinking like, I, I'm sure this guy remembers the Nether Rays. Yeah. 
For all I know, this guy is a Netherese. Netherese. I'm gonna lean over Nakeray's shoulder. You have any idea what they're talking about? Uh, see, Not a clue. You see, the, the Netherese were an ancient uh, race. Oh, shit, he heard me. Of humans. <laughs> and they, uh, they learned from the elves' magic, but apparently they became way better at magic than the elves did. And they created these giant floating cities and these, like, magical power houses. You know, like a power And plant. they threw wild parties, he says. <laughs> <laughs> I attended one once. Oh, it was lovely. I know, Alarad. Cities are very heavy. You can't put. You can't make it float on water. That would oh. be ridiculous. Oh no, they float in the air. Yeah, there, there was one that came in like uh, fifty years ago. Totally, you know, terrorized the moon sea. It's a whole thing. I like a kite? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like a kite. <laughs> Except a magic It's one a hell of a string. <laughs> so, yeah, well, no, I'd love to learn all the secrets of this library, but uh, I'm just not sure we're going to find anything. Did, uh, Thoken, have you tried that wand of secrets here and maybe some other key rooms we need to look at? I don't know if we already used it here. I forgot I had it. <laughs> uh, well, you only got three tries, so pick wisely where you think there might I... be more secrets. Like now? I, I mean, that's totally up to you. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> you know, I, you're a pallet, and you seek uh, evil and danger and. That's just an extension of what you do with that wand. So now? Sure, now. Yeah, that's fine. All right, yeah. take out the wand and I use it. It points to the secret door slightly to the left of you. There's a secret there. <laughs> is there, I mean, it's got a 30 foot range, right? Does it, is it like pointing it multiple points locations? To the nearest one. Oh, good to know. <laughs> Well, what if it's not secret anymore? <laughs> Mimi goes to the already opened secret door and looks through it. It's exactly as it was. <gasps> this is so surprising. All right. Uh, if uh, look, I'll we'll look around one more time here. But I think we've kind of. We've definitely found what we were supposed to find, I assume. Let's see. Wasn't there a room to the, uh... Sorry, I'm saying these out of character. Um, from the central room, the, uh... There was the room to the left, and then wasn't there another one to the north of that? No, that, that was a get... mistake that I... That's something that doesn't is not there in this story. That's... Or is not known to be there? Yeah, it's essentially, yeah. I made a mistake okay. and thought we knew about it. Okay. So, but as far as I can tell, you know, I, I've i already rolled investigation earlier and I'm looking one last time. I don't think there's anything else to find. You do not find anything else in this room. Yeah. So... Mimi hasn't been specifically invited into the other room. Otherwise, she probably would be looking... Are you a vampire? Oh, actually, no, she's reading. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> no, Did you get it's bit? just rude. I... No. I think I know it did. Strahd didn't bite me. Or anything. I think. Most things that Strahd ever did to me was set me on fire and kill my horse. <laughs> to be I fair, that seems pretty bad. Me. Yeah, I remember that. Alright, well, um... I mean, I got well, I mean, the limitless ice powers I was looking for, so whatever you guys want to do next is up to you. The limitless powers of ice, so I'm good. <laughs> 
Someone uh, pick a duel. All right. So, can this is what you do. Yeah. You start walking with the wand into the into every single room, even hallways, and just try to find. There's them. only okay. there's only three charges. We already burned one on accident. It's okay. Well, go into the other go... room and try it again. Probably away from. Go the... to the far yeah, wall, right. as far from the other the secret door as possible. Probably minus. It's it recharges every what day or something. Day, I think. Then we might as well. We've searched most of this place, haven't we? So, so we might as well just keep searching for secrets. Aren't so, there like two perfectly good doors we could check? We checked. Well, yeah, we could also go back downstairs. I mean, there's a couple nooks and crannies I think we missed. <laughs> what? Why aren't we just going through one of these doors? Go for it. What are you scared? Where's my, where's my shield going? Uh, Esmeralda or... Or... Yes, and Dakeray's shield buddy. My <laughs> shield buddy responds to no man. Well, are you going to walk through that door without him? Which <laughs> which door do you want to walk through? So if you're talking about okay. the one to the left, we had been in there. Uh, that is a bedroom, an office of some kind. Uh, there's a book that I want in there, but if I take it... <laughs> I've been threatened that I will be murdered by the janitor here, so I've decided oh. not to. <laughs> janitor. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. There's a book that I'm I suspect is. I'm having a hard time a... not imagining this guy as Papyrus from Undertale. Well, I don't know. If somebody wants me to use the wand somewhere, just tell me where to go and use it. Okay. I'm not picking so, up your if you, so Mimi's idea was for you to stand against this wall and use it. Or, sorry, the one over to the right. My thoughts are that's fine, but I don't think there's anything else in here. And we might need to just continue to go around in circles downstairs. I'm, I'm fine with whatever. Somebody take the lead. We're, we're circling the drain here. My phone is doing All right. lots of things. Mimi, you were the, so you seemed interested in staying in the library, so I think it's appropriate that your character decide what we should do in the library before we leave. Mimi says that we should look for secret doors. Okay, so Bokan, go ahead and use the wand where you're standing. We'll see if there's I... anything else in here. I do. Okay. Out of it character, points to I want to mention the door to the south. Okay. Perfect. So no more secret doors in here. <sighs> Out of character, I want to mention that Mimi thinks that there's secret doors all over the library, and that if there's there might be like a big grid of secret doors. <laughs> uh, I mean that sounds like you've been in uh in here too long so has, has mimi been, been doing drugs all right mm. so we'll we'll no. take the secret scare staircase scare case we'll take the secret the scare case down every to... step screams but in a delightful pattern to, yeah we'll take this the staircase <laughs> down to the main uh part of the dungeon and just uh kind of go through our checklist of what we've done here since we are proper adventurers we'll make sure we've covered everything but then it's time to either investigate the abandoned town full of scarecrows or go straight to castle ravenloft and get this show on the road sounds like a plan all right um, all right so you want to go down the stairs yeah down the secret yeah. stairs and okay Whoa. and then um just move your tokens like somewhere in the middle. Okay, I just need. Roll twenty has been extra slow for me today, and I've tried everything to fix it. Mm -hmm. Like the dead center of the map, somewhere like here. Like, yeah, somewhere around there. 
So we didn't find anything. It's just a teeny library. That's what it's a library with books that you can't read. Uh, just drag them over. Oh, there's like a tiny miniature token on the map. I'm a little boy. (laughs) Oh my goodness, why is token so small? I'm a little boy. (laughs) Um, Uh, Not that big. Drag my tokens on the map. Yeah, I got you. Okay. My computer's still in. So which section of the map? No, I think it's roll 20 tonight. To um, put it bluntly, drag it somewhere vaguely in the middle. Yeah, there you go. Uh, thank All you. Right. So us as the players have spent the last three weeks looking at this place, and it's hard to remember, you know, everything we've looked at and haven't. But these characters have been here only a few, a couple days. Um, yes. And probably being in the moment, know where they have been and haven't been. So Claire, can you help yes. us figure out like some places we might have noticed, like been like, oh, there's like a little doorway there, and just didn't go. So through. you've definitely been to all of the obvious places on this floor. Okay. Uh, the next floor up, isn't there like a there's like the end of a hallway or something like that that we didn't do i forgot uh yes yes there is okay do you want to go there yeah sorry to keep moving us around but i didn't know where no that's fine as long as people are making decisions there's also an underground place with ghosts where i got this dress well there was it's it's gone now (laughs) there was an earthquake (laughs) Look, man, there's no reason to believe that you could know that the, the whatever it's called, the underground place is I'm going to ask my ghost if he thinks the underground south. place is still there. He's like, oh, no, man, that place is fucked. <laughs> okay. You're dead. So here's what, I was, here's what I was thinking. So we explored that uh, other area, but, like, here... This doesn't look very large, but uh, I'm thinking maybe like through here. It looks just like broken stuff in here. Oh wait, there's doors to the left of me here. Okay, so hold on, gotta find the thing. All right. Uh, well, as you do that, I'm not gonna like. Here. Unless this room is full of more ghosts, I should be fine here. But I'm going to so let's for the balcony. Uh, this marble, this black marble balcony, thirty feet above the floor, overhangs the northeast corner of the temple. Two amber doors leading from this balcony stand open. Then this bare stone room consists of a foyer to the west and a shrine to the east. Four candlesticks lie on the dusty floor of the foyer. In the shrine, fragments of a shattered obsidian statue are scattered in a raised alcove at the eastern end of the chamber. Two pairs of empty alcoves line the north and south walls of the shrine. All right, so to the to the left here, there's a door. If it's spider friendly, I can send my spider through. Uh, you mean, yeah, that one. Uh, this oh. narrow room has an arrow slit in the center of the south wall. Okay. It is otherwise empty. Oh, that's unremarkable. All right, well, that was my idea. Mimi, I come back out and I, I look at Mimi. I say, like, this whole time we've been here, it seems like you've been looking for something. I'm not sure exactly what that is, so I can't help you there. But if you want to check out anything else in this place, we're happy to follow you i'm sure i speak for everyone i mean if anyone wants to investigate something or roll perception checks you know yeah i mean i will investigate the general vicinity that i'm in i'm not as good at perception so if somebody is especially wise that's fine but i have a plus eight to investigation oh geez i rolled a two um (laughs) But that might be a team effort. Like, I might be the one spirit. So, I might be aided. It's just up to you. Could could either 
Mimi should totally be either helping or making her own investigation rolls. Yeah. Which... Einar's gonna help, because Einar does not have good wisdom at all. Wait, but investigation is intelligent. Yeah, that's what, well, perception is wisdom, but... Oh, perception! I got that. Well, I... That, yeah. <laughs> uh, you notice there's, like, a little uh, partially hidden handle up there. Oh, and shit. it's a secret door. I'm gonna open the door. Oh my goodness! There's like a passageway. Oh shit, guys! There's a staircase. Oh, it's, it's almost it's almost what? like you found where all those ghouls came from. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> I go down the staircase. Are there all gonna right. be more ghouls down here? Who else is going down the staircase? There's an S. If you move up a little bit, you can see it. I think... Is that going to put us on a different grid? First. Yes. Go! My meat shield. And Alarad. My other meat shield. I'm not (laughs) that thing you said, but okay. Meat shield. Go! Where did they go? The shield golem is definitely not a meat shield. And I am. They they went off into magic land. I'm, I'm just I'm just sitting here basking in the holy light you got. Mimi's going with them, but um, I have a, I have absolutely no idea what the heck my brother's doing. They're probably not right in the front. <laughs> you know what? I'll I'll follow with them. Why not? Did we take a short rest at any point? Recently? We took. I mean, we leveled, so you usually get back certain resources when you level. I don't know which ones. Oh. Crap, did we just level? Some mm. people did. I don't know if you did. Yeah, I just did, but I didn't... Uh, I don't think... We didn't do XP right after the session, or did we? We did. We did. We did, that's right. How much did we get? It was like 8,000 or something? I didn't do my... Uh... 5,000, I think? I didn't do if my... It's 5, we might have leveled. I will what level is the menu? I just hit eight. Okay, and Mimi was level. So Mimi is definitely level eight at least, because she has yes. to have a higher level than Okan. Was she already low eight? I don't think so. Yeah, I, th- I think you. I think you forgot to apply your experience at the end of last session. Yeah, like I'm 72 experience said, into level 8, so I, I literally just barely hit it. You said last time during session that you leveled up. Yeah, I or know I that you and I are pretty similar on experience counts, because I think I purposefully put myself to where you were, Mimi, when I applied my DM mm-hmm. XP. So, I don't know. Even though she's an experience god. Anyway, okay, so I'm just surprised you didn't level if you got XP. You love this game. Okay. Um Go go search that corridor, please. The shield guardian goes. This is a teeny tiny corridor. The shield guardian cannot fit. <laughs> oh, is it a Mimi sized corridor? No, it's not. Yes. It's, a, it's a me sized corridor. Yes. Wow. So, I can't um, see. Yeah. The the amber door to this room hangs open, and the chamber reeks of death. Uh, oh yeah, Nakari can't see. Hmm. Yes. Maybe maybe Thoken should go in there with his shining sword. Yeah, I'm literally just looking for the door. There we go. All right. <laughs> Mimi can see 120 feet in the dark, and she's never been able to just crawl into the hole into a hole in the ground before. Sorry, Mimi, there's not even close to 120 feet for you to see. It's oh. just a room with more cupcakes. Yes, it's a, it's a room with cupcakes. Oh, interesting. Cupcakes. And it smells like death. I want to do a perception check. This this room has amber-glazed walls and a floor of dark green marble. Three amber sarcophagi stand in alcoves. Uh, yeah, you killed the guests, so they're not there. Um... Were they all packed into this little tiny room? Yes. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Those poor guys. It was like eight of them. Or seven of them. That's that, must have, that must have been pungent of a room. Yep. Just, oh, yeah. I'm curious. 
What 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 these sarcophagus say? Out of my own curiosity, what, what, what's the north one? They're like, hang on, you've got a dark gift. Go away. But I want to know what you do. Bring bring mm-hmm. someone else over here to touch things. All right, fine. Mimi Don't likes touching things. Get out of the room. Okay. <laughs> There's nothing in here. <laughs> all right, it's all <laughs> it's just like. Hey, Mimi. Is Mimi just tied up in the back, not allowed to touch anything? No. Touch it. You're, touch you're right everything. There. So there's one to the north, one to the east, one to the south. What are you touching? Um. North. Okay. A, a sort of clicking and chittering voice speaks in your mind. It introduces itself as Drizlash, the nine eyed spider. It offers the gift of. Um, uh, okay, that's that's enough. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Out of my own curiosity, no. what, what is what's the gift? Uh, the gift is the power to walk like a spider. Okay, oh, that's pretty. Probably cool. walks on wall. Spider walk. Cool. It's it's simultaneously cool, but also really lame. Is it actually just walk on walls? Uh, and like upside down and stuff, but you know. I think it's spider spider crawl, right? Exactly. This must be Strahd's patron. <laughs> you. I didn't take notes for the last set. What? I'll talk to you about them later. But, um. Well, actually, if you give me one moment, I can tell you. They were. Uh. <laughs> All the way down here. I think. Uh, yeah, that was uh, that had the uh, the vampire, which not surprisingly can potentially turn people into vampires. Um, it had one that basically told you to fuck off until you were more powerful spellcaster. Um, and... Uh, and then Thok can release them. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> what is it? Wait, did they just ask? It just gives you magic. And then the other one was... Uh, oh, yeah. The, the one that Casimir had been looking for, giving the power to raise the ancient dead. Okay. So, yeah. Which other ones did you want to check in this room? All of them. Oh, maybe, yeah, but which one maybe next? Her real benefactor is in one of these boxes. And the okay, the the, the next just... the next sarcophagus. Uh, it a voice kind of booms in your in your head. It, it says, "Who <sighs> dares come before Dalvernar?" I am he oh. of many teeth. My gift is the gift of many lives. Oh, oh there you go. Do not fear death. Um. Be as a cat with many lives. I'm running down all of these things. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know what? I I know a girl who you would really like. Her name is um. Uh, she's one of the Walker family. He says, "Oh no, honey, I ain't touching that family with a ten foot pole. They're crazy." <laughs> really? <laughs> but one of them is just the talking amber coffin. <laughs> <laughs> that um, girl, they is weird. Mimi's gonna check with one of, with the other one. Okay, and then the last one. There's kind of like, honestly, there's like a trumpet fanfare, <laughs> <laughs> and it goes, "I am Xantros, the Kingmaker." Do you desire <gasps> sheer force of presence and will? Um, hey, 
I I don't know what you just said, but um Oh gosh. Contract I with me and that. rule over others. Um Take your rightful place. You remind I, me of another bright young lass. Be be quiet. I'm trying to tell you something. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Rude. <laughs> um. Do you know Fiona Wachter? Of course I do, and I know you too. Um. Oh, really? Then who am I? You're, you you get the you you hear like the someone riffing through part pieces of parchment. Your <laughs> memo. Jeez. That says me me my okay. Mimi. I... Mummy. Clearly, you're not good enough for me. Not even taking accurate records. <sighs> he says, you can always I am not a scholar. I had a scholar. They died. <clears throat> oh. Did they taste good? I wouldn't know. I, oh, I th they, thought you they said mostly, you had a scholar. They, they, well, actually, I had a bunch of scholars. There, there were like six of them, but then there was this ghoul. Things got messy. They all wandered wondered. out of here a couple hours ago. I don't. I don't know what happened to them. Were these scholars ghosts? No, they were. They were people, you know. Oh. Uh, I'm just like taking up all the spotlight now. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. Become spider. Become the spider woman. Um, no. <laughs> spider. Oh, I just realized there's uh there's one that's missing in my notes. Or maybe they just were destroyed, I don't know. Yeah, um, there's there's one that I know you never got to check. <laughs> <laughs> Thoken chuckles. <laughs> I'm so clever. <laughs> I mean it's still so, Mimi. It's still there. I What'll just don't know be? if it'll talk to you. No, I, um, I think Thoken actually smashed one of them before anyone could check it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, Mimi, do you, will you will you accept a dark gift? Um, you know, I'm pretty interested in that Yigra, the Eye of Shadows, but what if the librarian gets mad? If they're my true benefactor, uh, what if the they, well, what if whoever it is gets mad that I cheated on them with another dark power? Maybe they're not possessive. Which which one was which dark power were you interested in? Um, Igra, the Eye of Shadows. Which other ones were they near? They were near Yogg the Invincible, the mm. Great Tar Haok, and ah. Yigra the Eye of Shadows, I guess. Okay. Um, I don't know, spider and, climbing uh, sounds pretty cool. I, I feel like I took the wrong one. <laughs> I feel like Do you enjoy know. being the spider? Oh. Fucking drow. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I forgot there was an Eye of Shadows. Um. Oh right, yeah. Mimi, Mimi opens up her book and just starts writing. Uh, are you possessive? Wait, no, you're the wrong person. Crap. Never mind. The, the book <laughs> writes back. I don't usually use possessives. <laughs> <laughs> Really? They're pretty useful. I'm making like a writing motion with my hand for some reason. 
the, the um, book rights back. So what do you think of our selection of dark powers? Um, it, I, it's, it, it's interesting. Is this like you have a collection? This is a place of learning, it says. There are no <sighs> wrong answers except turning them all away. I, I go over to Thoke and I, I, I'm like, I think Mimi's gone nuts. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Mimi's just writing right now. <laughs> um. Oh, so, uh, you know, I, I let's talk about plans here. Are we going to try to, fig, you know, do some more sleuthing around? Or are we going to go to that castle and show that big Isn't guy what's up? Casimir somewhat curious about the power he came here looking for? He found it. He found them. Oh, that's right. In fact, he might... <clears throat> did he stay around or did he run away? He's still there. Okay. Because, like, he, he wants to go with you to Ravenloft. He knows that alone, he's probably just gonna die. I mean, he's definitely more useful than uh, than Ismark. <laughs> <laughs> he, he nods and says, "Ah, uh, yes, such a bright young lad, but he's a, a bit too fond of swords." Um, not so enough in the brain cool department. Are... He tries to keep his voice down so that Token doesn't hear him. Are I'm you like stacking <laughs> up rocks are you talking to me? Down, making crashing noises. <laughs> so um, I don't want Mimi to become chaotic evil. Um, you can't. I thought it does if you fail the thing, the truck. Yeah. If she fails the magical savey thing. Is um, she already chaotic? I think she's chaotic. Either that or she's neutral. She's either. Chaotic neutral or neutral good. It's pretty much whatever you said that you think mm. she is last night. Oh. <laughs> um, well, In that case, yeah. If you failed, you would become neutral evil. At, which would retire least, She's not eventually. lawful, which means she wouldn't... Um... So as a as a person who re as an out of character, uh, this is like my one my one time that I'm willing to min max something. <laughs> um, AKA I need to get Mimi an inspiration and I need to get some way to make her better at the save. You're looking for the dark eye, right? Yeah. The mm. Ygra. The yeah. eye of shadows that gives her mm. the power to read things. Pretty much. To make okay. her able it to gives see you the illusions and such. Yeah. It gives you the power to see the unseen. That's pretty cool. And to, and to see things that others do not. Alright. Um... So you want inspiration and proficiency. Well, the folk end being there gives proficiency for those kinds of things, right? Um, yeah, it gives, gives his a charisma bonus. To <clears throat> right, it's a plus two. Yeah. Okay. Um, what is the save type? Charisma. It's a charisma save. So Mimi's good at those. Mm -hmm. Can someone help her in some way? Or is that like um, like a mental kind of thing? We well, definitely really can't them. take the help action for a save. <laughs> and I don't have any, like, uh, I don't have, like, the resistance spell. I don't think it's a wizard spell anyway. But, yeah. So, I don't yeah. have an inspiration, so I can't trade you one of mine, unfortunately. I can give Oh, wait, can you trade that stuff? Uh, um, yes. If you have an inspiration, you can give it to another player. I have inspiration. I can trade you an inspiration, though. I never use it as the uh, Einar. Yeah. It's it's not really needed. You can take it. Yes, please. Take it. Take it. Okay. Go for let's go let's go for the eye of seeing everything. I don't suppose it could be rem like cured with a remove curse or something like that. No, if, if it takes a wish spell. 
you got every everyone so far has succeeded. I believe in you, and INR isn't even charismatic. Alred failed, didn't he? I, I didn't. Oh, Alred. Alred. <laughs> oh yeah, he did. Never mind. He's not charismatic. It's fine. No, okay. No, um, I... Mimi also has a plus one for her um for her cloak, charisma right? because I because she leveled up. Hmm. What's your um? What's your saves overall with the bonus with Falcon? Okay, so Mimi has a a plus four charisma, uh, and a plus three proficiency. Does she have a plus four or plus five charisma? She has a plus four charisma. She oh. took a um a fancy thing before. Hmm. Um, okay, so it's plus four, plus three with proficiency, and plus. Two from Thokan? Yeah, that gives her a Isn't plus nine time? with advantage from the inspiration. Yeah, what is the save? Ten or eleven? Or is it fifteen? Thirteen or fifteen. Twelve. I think you. I think you got this. Okay. I think with the inspiration, you got this. Well, just remember, if you don't, character retires. Yeah. Temporarily. I, that's what I'm trying to think. Oh, statistically okay. speaking, statistically speaking, I think you need a what a three with yes. advantage. You need a three <laughs> with advantage to get it. I believe in you. Uh, the odds are. I would. I, I would bet the dice on this. There's like a two percent chance of failing. I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. Could could you make that roll for me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh wait, no. I think I was supposed to use some get something else as my, as an in not as an invocation as a, uh, as a feat. And I'm not allowed to figure these things out later. <laughs> um, am I allowed to figure these things out later? No. Fuck. I really want Mimi to be a warcaster. Why? Yeah, why? Isn't that good for magic? Yeah, but she doesn't then use melee use, weapons. Like, All right. She like, doesn't even have shield proficiency, I don't think. Oh, it, it doesn't that oh, it's like she can? Oh wait, no, she's not really. She yeah. doesn't stand in melee. Like yeah, <laughs> if if I took a level in fighter and wanted a shield, that would make that would work out, you know. But other than that's that, true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, you are right. Okay, I'm gonna just say that I'm gonna take the extra charisma, and now, uh, now I want that roll to be made if it hasn't already been made. Okay. You have succeeded. You made it. <laughs> you don't turn evil. And you gain true seeing out to 60 feet. She sees all! Oh, crap. For ne the I'm next 30 can... days. For you the can... next... Wait a minute, it's freaking temporary. Yeah. Digra, you've... Okay, that's... I guess that's fine. Hoisted by your own batard! <laughs> it's okay, you will see everything in Strahd's wonderful castle. <laughs> Actually, that's, that's extremely useful. For, yeah. for Strahd's oh, castle, yeah. I think that's going to be fantastic. That's the next 30 days of real time, by the way. Oh. oh. Yes. Well, if you could see everything, maybe you could see how disappointed I am. Oh. I... Look. oh. oh. There's, there's what's, plenty. What's, the, what's their downside for picking Uh, it? Hold on. I accidentally closed it. Uh, look, Thokan, there's, there's plenty of... Uh... There's plenty of power left to go around. I mean, <laughs> don't you feel kind of left out? Uh, nope. I heard that there was one that makes you, you know, like a king. I you believe, like king okay. <laughs> the beneficiary of this dark gift also gains the following flaw. I believe that all life is pointless and look forward to death when it finally comes. Oh, oh <laughs> Jesus! Oh my Additionally, god! Additionally, uh, your eyes become starry voids. Okay, that's kind of cool. 
That's kind of cool. I think the best part about that is, like, your warlock ability to repeatedly come back from the dead like, <laughs> makes you such a tragic figure. Like, death just keeps escaping you. Wait, uh, can you that's that's, that's kind of really cool. The flaw was that you go. believe all life is pointless and look forward to death or whatever. Wow. <laughs> While we're doing this, you boys should short rest and get your health back. Oh, I'm good. Well, I'm obviously not referring to you. Oh. Yeah, There's I... also the... Okay. Mimi has, uh... I help those in need, no matter what the personal cost, and I'm not afraid of death. In fact, I don't really see it as a bad thing. Nope, now you really like it. So, <laughs> one of these is some synergy. One of these is some dissonance. Cool. Oh, does true seeing match dark vision? Uh, I do not believe it do does. It's well, it's like it's like if you have true seeing but not dark vision, you don't magically gain dark vision. Okay. But since you do have dark vision, you've got true seeing out to sixty feet. Okay. Um, so Mimi is, uh, now that she has the, uh, and this is real life time, so it's, um, yes. 30 days, yeah. Until December 17th. Uh, so we December. better, we better crush that castle pretty soon, because I wouldn't be surprised if that was four sessions. <laughs> but if you guys want to look at a spooky swamp, there's that too. <laughs> <laughs> ah, spooky, spooky swamps can. Yeah, fuck that. I, I, I command my shield guardian to pick me up and just carry me to the exit. Uh, uh, he like princess a baby. carries you to the exit. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're done here, folks. Um, sorry. Before all this, this going to the exit stuff that y'all want to do, uh, Mimi, can Mimi has true sight. Uh, she's mm -hmm. gonna borrow a book from the library. Uh, yeah, when you open up the books, uh, you can see what's written inside of them. Um, oh, hey, if you find a Mr. wizard Jennifer? spell book in there. <laughs> oh, there are tons of wizard spell books. Wizard spell books with rituals? Uh, <laughs> yes. You are able to find any wizard spell that is a ritual. If you're walking all the way back to the library, do you spot any secrets? No. <laughs> that too. <laughs> None um, that okay, you haven't so... already discovered. There you go. I'm gonna actually yeah, write go into down... the room that the the thingy would or the I forget what the janitor. As we're calling him the janitor. Mm -hmm. Does she look in that room as she's looking or no? Well, that's up to her. Um, she, if if given the chance, she's gonna spend like an hour or two in the library exploring. Sounds like um, a perfect and... opportunity for those guys to take a short rest. Damn it! <laughs> yes, I agree. <laughs> Greatest short rest that ever rested. Uh, so that door that's probably physically hidden, not like not magically hidden. Hold up. Um, I'm just gonna drag y'all back up here. And so you can all go back to the library. Ooh. Hooray! I forgot to do my goddamn my goddamn HP. Oh, do you did you have did you just give me a list of all of the wizard spells that are um rituals, rituals? yes. Oh, this is beautiful. This is so beautiful. None of them are augury though. Yep, no, that's cleric only, as I recall. Um, so I don't suppose Mimi can just have a single book with all of these rituals and stuff? <laughs> just I mean, you can, but if you try to take it out of the library, it crumbles to dust. Oh. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Well, I suppose you all can... <laughs> A day passes. Oh wait, how many? 
I guess I can't scribe it into my spell book until I spend like a month here. So what do you do? You can't there? scribe it into your spell book because you can't see the fucking spell book. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take uh, so it takes two hours to transcribe a spell? It takes one hour per level and uh, 50 oh, gold pieces. Per level. Okay. I'm not yeah. gaining anything from this. What? Uh, I'm not going to learn any spells from this. You're not going to take, like, Phantom Steed or... I already, uh, well, I already gave her Phantom actually... Steed. Ah. Pretty much most of the... Uh, the lower level spells she has because Alarad, even though I haven't actually tracked them. Mm -hmm. um, she already has a, all the ones that I care about. Um, and she can't really... She doesn't have time to transcribe spells. How long spells. is teleportation circle a ritual? No. No. Okay. And she is only level 8, so she can't learn 5th level spells. Oh yeah, neither can I. Yep. Oh, contact other plane. It's not that great. Don't you have like a 60% chance of going completely insane? Well, if you do no, it here in Barovia... If you do it here, you're just, <laughs> just going to end up talking to Strahd. Strahd. <laughs> just talk to Strahd and be like, what's up? How are you doing? It's gonna be like, hello, um, who gave you this number? <laughs> I did. New number, who did? I specifically asked this is the who did. Did. <laughs> I realize this is supposed to be my own personal hell, but surely telemarketers are a bridge too far. Oh my god, oh, every no, day no, give him no. a call about the, the rock repairs, and I wish you get a better sewage system. See how long it takes before he tracks you down and then kills you. <laughs> he doesn't have to take the call, he can't ignore it. Okay. Um. So yeah, I'll, I'll pretty much just get two levels of of a ritual spell. Okay. I wonder um, what Strahd's voicemail is like. Anyway, um... <laughs> <laughs> this is Strahd. Uh, I live in a never-ending hell. Please leave your message. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's one of those people who lets his voicemail fill up so that you can't leave him one. <laughs> That's <laughs> mailbox is full. It's a pretty good idea. I totally am going to do that. Then I have leave a voicemail? The mailbox be I'm going to leave myself a really, really long voicemail so that my voicemail ro uh, not rolls up, fills up. So, alright, uh, let's get out of here and uh, we'll, we'll get far enough away that we can uh, make camp, because I'm pretty sure it's two days or three days to the castle. Unless yeah, I think it's two days. Unless you guys want to go bog hopping, but it's you know it sounds like it's castle time. We're we're strong. I have unlimited ice powers. I don't believe in myself. I have a shield, guardian. I am ready. And you can. Uh, sh I think we should get. Can we like buy like upgraded health potions or something? Is no, that viable? No, Only no. normal health potions. And I can't buy magic arrows, can I? Nope. So, okay. You can only buy uh, magic arrows and Jolt. Thing that you're... Uh, right. Hold on. Jolt, why Hold are you on. in a different continent than Barone? So if we find Strahd, let's think about this here. If we find Strahd, who can actually do damage to him? Me. Me, 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 me. So everyone except for uh, the ranger and Einar. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Doken, you, the, you know. Well, I'm thinking in terms of there's there's many artifacts, right? Just give the artifacts that aren't the sword to those who can't actually even hit the guy. Well, only which... the problem is only the paladin can use the amulet, which is why the yeah. paladin... he he's we'll the only one that can use the amulet. Yeah, only yeah. a cleric or a or a, or a paladin. paladin. So yeah, that was oh really wide and Jesus. All right, so if we this, okay. No, this is our job. We just get health potions. We just throw it at him because <laughs> first potions. first turn he's gonna he's gonna hypnotize you, and then we die. And yeah, then I that was a like real quick campaign. That um, Einar's damage is so high he can probably hurt Strahd anyway. 
even <laughs> saw. Oh no! Oh. Is there a reason we assume we can't hurt him? I mean, has he's, he's highly armored. Right? I'm well, willing to bet that he's got some armor. It doesn't. So I can't use power strike unless he's going to run at us naked. In which case, I say go for it. Look. <laughs> Based on... Naked Strahd sounds terrible. <laughs> like, so, I mean, my character... Now, I would like to point out, there is always the possibility that you find a magic weapon in right. Castle Raven. My, yeah, Alarad, That's what I'm hoping for. Alarad says, like, I, you know, before I came here, I was a detective, and I can tell you that by asking around, it's definitely believed that hundreds of adventurers have gotten lost in Castle Ravenloft and never come back out. And you adventurers have gear and will probably find maybe something that was left behind. So That still leaves the ranger, even if we find something that I could swing violently at someone. Um, no, there's there's I mean, adventurers use bows, adventurers use short swords. I know that Nako Ray can't hit worth a damn with a short sword, but there's <laughs> gonna be... <laughs> I try still doing better than Aegis. Very true. <laughs> I We don't talk. <laughs> we don't talk about how, it wait, this year. how did you know about my elven friend <laughs> <laughs> did you know we, that he introduced me into the the uh emerald enclave what a man how to swing a stick Jesus Dokan he just threw the thunder <laughs> Ken is mean. After all that, I'm the evil one. All right. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> evil oh, one. Oh, I mean, I just expect payment so from everything now. But that was amazing. Know, that was a personal attack. That was amazing. All right, everybody. I'm, uh, I'm well, let's see what we can find in Castle Ravenloft. I'm yeah. sick of this evil temple. Let's get out of here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this place is freaky. Go, my shield um, guardian. Carry me to, to victory. All right, put us back on the world map, I guess, or something. You Please. guys warm up the horses. I'll be there in a bit. Okay, um, I'm going to call a break because I have to go take care of a horse. I'll go warm up those fryers. So, yep, everybody, uh, you know. Wait, are we deep frying the horses? What? No, yeah, we're deep frying the horses. No, we're deep frying the horses. No, we're deep frying the horses. But other than that, everybody gets a real life short break. All right. Yeah. What the heck's real life? Um.
Well, it's good to be playing again. I've been running around in some other discords like, yo, who wants to do a two hour moon sea adventure? And everybody's like, nah, dog. Hey, does, does Alarad have gentle repose? Uh, no. If uh, you can find one for me, I can... Oh, you just want it. Um, you got some dead bodies. Yeah, I'm taking gonna that be... one. Gonna be chugging I, around. I have someone who... I don't want to die. So That's a good thing. Die. It's I a good mean... thing to not want. I can bring people back from the dead. That's true. Oh, that's right. We can. Yeah, I mean, that's the, I, the great thing is... I am literally the... I am literally the ace in the hole. If everything goes south in this castle, I am your savior. And I am not joking. I literally can teleport one person out. My shield guardian teleports with me as a, uh item interaction. And then I have three resurrections. So if you, even if you all die... I yeah, <laughs> I feel like you're doing pretty good. I mean, I I know that you and Einar haven't found like appropriate weapons for yourself. I mean, you know, I have magic, so worst case scenario, I fall back on that. It would be nice to have a magic sword, but I can't use very. I can only use scimitars, so that's kind of a bummer. I'm back. <laughs> oh, um, could could you also tell me the other spells that? Alarad has sure, uh, like ritual spells. The other rituals. Uh, if you haven't taken down Tiny Hut, you might want that sometime, so you can make your own Tiny Hut <laughs> when you want to camp. So Tiny Hut. And I have Tensor's floating disc and identify. And you already have, I think, the other ones. I've got like illusory script and. Magic Mouth. Which Magic mm -hmm. Mouth is only really good oh, to troll magic people. Mouth. Uh, Magic Mouth. Has anyone here ever magic. bruised their tailbone? You no. Know. Yeah, for sure. <coughs> it hurts so bad. Do you yeah. have Do you have a yeah. donut that you're sitting on? No. <laughs> I took the, but I took the expressway down the stairs on my ass. Oh, yeah. So, it was, apparently it was almost broken. Almost fractured. So that's, that's great. So now I'm just in pain. I told you. I, I, told I you. got the x-ray. They said it's fine. It's just... So, um, just, just out of game for you guys. Just to, I mean, because I feel like this isn't too big of a spoiler. I don't know what's in that swamp that we're bypassing. I know it's a chapter, you know, so it's not like mm -hmm. a swamp, I think I have a guess what it is. Well, I know like, what the adversaries are there, but I don't know like if there's anything that would interest adventurers, like, loot-wise, if you know what I'm saying. So, no. other than All that, I remember is people saying in forums, that place is death. That's all I know. Um, I mean, I don't know. I... It, it depends. It, I would are, be scared. We're, we're probably gonna we're probably gonna bypass it, aren't we? I would because that's the place where the uh, the gem is, right? Yeah. Which is they're dead anyways. The oh yeah, did you guys kind of doomed the winery? Yeah, it's it's gone. So, like so. if the winery wasn't doomed, yes, we would go for it. But it, we already messed up. <sighs> yeah, it's I it's like at that point, there's nothing there. Uh, but we're we're pretty much gonna bypass it though. Like none of us want to go there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This the castle. We I know that we need to get the tome anyway. The information on Strahd, which is in yep. the treasury or the catacombs. I forget. Um, I think it's in the catacombs. So. Uh, do you mind then just letting me know what's in that swamp? Since we're not going to go there, I'm just curious what is like, there. Do it like do it in PMs maybe inside of Discord. I mean, we are. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Streaming, so. Just, just, just. Uh, I might play this again someday, so I, I don't want to know. Yeah, just Discord me or something. So. Or we'll wait until after the stream. We did go to I'll every single sarcophagus that was in there, right? 
I believe so. It doesn't I'm matter. I'm the only one, oh, I think. Shit. Yeah. I'm the only one left, so I, w I wouldn't be taking one anyway. Because Ismark... Uh, oh, that's right. Crap. Ismark doesn't... Me what up? Charisma is 20. I, I was doing the ASI, and I already had one done. Okay, good. So her charisma is 20. <laughs> good stuff. My intelligence is 20, so... My our strength is 20. Our spellcasting saves are pretty hard to beat. Um, I wish I had more strength. If I, I leveled up, I could get 20 in dexterity, but instead I'm going to get that sweet plus 4 to, or plus 5 to initiative. That's a pretty good idea. Never be startled again. Because that literally There is no kills fear. Me. I yeah, I and I don't know oh you're not an assassin in this one. I keep mixing it up. Mm. Oh so I mean I for both of them I wanna get it just because having higher initiative is great. The assassin I need it because I need to go first. I uh, I almost think as a wizard having um a ch crazy initiative would be great because then I can just drop a fireball when the enemies are clustered or like whatever AOE spell but uh, remind me where did our thing say Strahd was was it the one where it was the guy he's most jealous of the prophecy thing the tomb of the guy he's most jealous of I believe oh good so if we're going to okay. be searching catacombs we better be careful <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they're marked a little. I, I'd imagine it's probably pretty... It's either grandiose or he, like, took a shit on it. One or the other. Um, okay. So we are... Once, uh, once you're back in your chair, Claire... We're... The Claire chair. We're ready for the final epic showdown okay. um, hey, my, my mouse is being very bizarre at the moment um, I'm trying to pick another spell to take okay well I feel really comfortable with all the ones that I have so like I I don't want to change them Oh, did we th did we think about who he was jealous of, or what was the name of that guy that actually married the girl that he loved? All this stuff is kind of went to my back. Yeah, it was his brother. So it's also Strahd. Wait, Strahd is first name, right? I Strahd mean, is his first name. Strahd Zarvan Zarovich, right? We're looking for a book that is going to give us some dirt on Strahd, so I would just say, you know, we can definitely find something at some point. And Claire, just to clarify, the book is supposed to be in the catacombs? Yes, it is supposed to be uh, underneath the treasury of Castle Ravenloft, which is almost certainly in the catacombs. And where are we alleged to, to do battle with Strahd? Somewhere in the catacombs. <laughs> <laughs> we have to oh, be lovely. Really careful. Really careful in them catacombs, for sure. Good news is you... You had at one point found the name of the, the person whose catacomb the book is supposed to be in, and it's not Ivan Zarovich. Ah. Uh, so, wait. That's, that's your good news? Wait, so it's not in those catacombs? The, There's no, probably it, more than just the, the... It's more than just Von Zarovich's down there. Like, for example, Casimir's uh, sister is supposed to be buried down there. But we have no idea what the name is. No. Uh, I might be able to look it up. I don't remember off the top of my head. So basically, we just avoid all the Vanzaroviches. Well, we, it might not be a Vanzarovich. Or didn't he marry and change his name? Um, this is a patriarchal society. Traditionally, the woman changes her last name. <laughs> is it? Is that in the book? I think so. I mean, this is like, you It's know, based on real-life Europe. It's, he's it's Vlad the Impaler. The fact that it's a patriarchal society is in the book, and the, uh... Oh, yes. The if it is, then yeah, it is. But I do remember queens being big figures as well. 
Well, yes. Um, Strahd's mother, I believe, uh, he is particularly fond of her. And I don't know if not, it's... Not in that way, I don't know mind if it's you, but... In... Or... <laughs> Did you think that's what we thought? We, we, it, it's no, not an but... Oedipus kind of deal. I don't know if I figured it's... I figured I should have that one off at the source. I don't know if it's a common lore, but the pest. castle's named after his mother. Yeah. Didn't we see a miniature version of the castle in here? Yes. Is it accurate? Probably. How would you know? You haven't been in the castle. Okay. I'm just wondering, because... <laughs> would... Uh, from that one, would we know how big the castle is? Big. Big? Yeah. Like... We'd have to see it to know how big it is. castle from far away. It's big. It's one of the biggest dungeons. Real big. It's one of the biggest dungeons in Adventures League, like, material. Probably outside of whatever the Tomb of Annihilation is. Because that just sounds nasty. No, that is is big. That is huge. I think Ravenloft might be bigger. It might be. Really? Yeah. It's definitely... All I heard is that that one is like a bunch of levels, but I don't know anything specific. Well, the Tomb of Annihilation, like, there's very few chapters in that book. It's really weird. Uh, It's just like, like, everything, every place you guys have been, there's not a chapter for it. It's like, this is a stop, you know. Um, Even Oralunga was not even dedicated a chapter. Or not Oralunga, the the garden with the Medusa. Anyway. Nangalor? Nangalor. Yeah. We should continue... Okay, are you all ready to wander outside? Yeah. Snake Array is being car- princess carried by his shield guardian. I <laughs> imagine that I'm actually just on his shoulder doing like a, uh... God, what, what is that? The Iron Giant? Does your shield guardian... Uh-huh. Does your shield guardian have a... Have like a gender identity? Nope. Okay. <laughs> are you doing a mas- Master Blaster from Mad Max? I don't know the reference. You're sitting on its shoulder, like, with a little helmet. Uh, Is that everyone? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Yep. All right. Just counting. Let's, uh, I mean, I would say we should burn this place to the ground, but... But you can't, because it's made of, like, rock and gems and glass and other things that aren't very flammable. Right. It's also extremely cold. Oh. Also, there's a creepy motherfucker with a really big sword standing in the road. Uh Uh-oh. Ah! Fuck! Is it, uh, the same guy that came in and hung out at the statue? No, this is the creepy motherfucker you met in the dragon castle. This is a revenant. Oh, hi! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, hi, Mark. Because he's, like, all dead and shit, and he's like, you lied to me. Uh, wait, did we lie to him? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I I don't know. Didn't, we, uh, uh, didn't we say we were just going to leave Strahd to him or something? I don't actually know. Yeah, you basically promised him that you weren't going to try to destroy Strahd. We're treasure hunting! I, uh, I look at him and I say, look, you really don't want to mess with us at this point. Uh, he says... My my spies tell me otherwise. Well, your spies are wrong and bad. Yeah, and look, I, I really don't... I'm not going to lie to you, because I don't see the point. Because uh, there's just one of you. Like, stand aside, or I will freeze you into a block of ice. <laughs> You're doing really good on the evil oh, thing, by the way. <laughs> small wizard. Small wizard. This is Barovia. There is never just one. Can I talk to this guy real quick? Oh hi! Yeah, you, we, could rewind, remember, we could rewind. We could rewind a little bit. It, 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 it can yeah. be during this conversation. I just yeah. don't remember his name. Sure, Casimir. Um, I assume that's who you're pointing at. That, that guy's real spooky. Thing you found it lets you bring what you can restore life. Is that what's what's your deal? Yeah, he, he says yes. Um, I I can return my sister to life, even though she died 400 years ago. Yeah, 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 but, like, not just your sister. Can you do it to other stuff, too? Uh, no. What? Really? Yeah, it's kind of a one-shot deal. Oh, hey, Pumpkin, oh. you want to go back inside for a minute? 
<laughs> right, he's being evil. Your friend can can pick people back up who've died recently, right? I'm not looking for people. But uh, I mean... what are you looking for? Well, this guy's super pissed that his dragon buddy's dead, and his body's apparently in Castle Ravenloft. If we're gonna fight Strahd, might be worthwhile having a dragon. He says, ah. uh, that's... that's actually a surprisingly bright idea. I know, right? Uh, it, like, well, just it, hit me on the way out can, the temple. I, I think I need an intact corpse, so if we can find all the bits and pieces, uh, we can, we can work something out. Okay, because otherwise this guy's gonna try to kill us. So maybe I, we I can think ask him he just if he wants, wants his dragon us. buddy to come alive. Look, I uh, think I think he's got murder on his mind. I I look at him and I'm like, all right, last chance, uh, or else. I'm gonna. Yeah, I know you're just gonna reanimate again, but uh, you know you could follow us around all you want. We can do this over and over again. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna yell out if he wants Argon. What was it? Argon vest. Argon vest. Argon vest. If he wants Argon Voss to live again. <laughs> he says, it matters not. Argon Voss fell to Strahd once. The same will only repeat. I don't think he's going to believe you anyway. Um, Fine, I guess if he's just going to be a dick about it, then no, that's this, is, <laughs> this is the nature of Barovia. It is an unending hell. That's what I said. I mean, you guys are always looking at me like I've been corrupted by power, but I mean, really... He deserves to die again and again and a few more times. Claire, keeps for falling. yeah, but me mental note: let's let's try to make that dragon thing happen. What did you say? You just want the shield guardian to go on my turn? Um, sure. Yeah, that's probably just, just more treat it as a pet, moment. so it's not flooding the. Uh, I'm just the gonna thing. do the same thing with Ismark, or I guess I could roll. I don't know. Whatever you think, it doesn't matter. Ismark. Is just gonna run around. Is Mark like, yeah, so this guy's been standing here. Apparently, he has a beef with you guys. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, you were outside the entire yeah, time. What we, the hell? We had him watching the He's horses. Like, well, Holy we shit. just kind of, he just, it, it didn't say anything to me. He just stared. So, wait, he brought beef. Uh, <laughs> only metaphorical beef, sadly. Is that good? No. He's going to try to kill us. Yeah. That's not tasty at all. Not at all. Okay. Uh, so I think Casimir is the last person who needs to roll initiative. Um, do I regain my bestow curse and my wind fan use from uh, leveling up? Or is it... Are they per long gonna... rest? They're... They are per dawn. Then no. Okay. Oh yeah, Casimir. That's, that's what I was looking for. All right. Oh, hi, Casimir. Casimir is like, I would very much like to roll high. I don't want to get stabbed. And you yeah, fuck. No, He's, I you mean, jinxed fuck me. Both, both, it's not fair. Both you both jinxed both. him! <laughs> you jinxed him! Both of the wizards are at the bottom of the initiative, not getting to use their AoE spells, so... Oh god, Casimir is literally the second to last person. You jinxed him! You ruiner! <laughs> ruiner! <laughs> Hail of thorns! <laughs> Oh, wait. It's They're all like, yeah, yes! <sighs> Thankfully, they all also... Oh, wait, no, everyone... Oh, God. I mean, there's some ghosts, but there's definitely some fleshy friends, too. So, go for it, yeah. Einar. I'm not running in there. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? Then fly, then fly in there. I, I, I don't think I need to just die. I mean, you could, fly, you could fly above them. They're not gonna reach you. You poke them with your big spear. Oh Jesus! Look at can I, can I look at them and see if any of them got ranged? Uh. Oh no. wait, those Thanks. I think those phantom warriors have bows, but I'm not sure. Yes, yeah, so the back row at least is supposed to have bows. I put the wrong token down, but you know. So that is a no. Them with a with a bow icon or something. I never thought you were a coward, Einar. Or like a gun. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll give them something. Uh, uh. Yes. 
Ah, uh, yes, they are, in fact, oh, turrets. Icon. That's perfectly <laughs> good. Turrets. These things, I, they don't even look <laughs> transparent to me. That's totally cool. They don't really look all that transparent to anyone else, either, really. Oh. They're, they're pretty solid. They're Yeah, they're surprisingly solid for ghostly creatures. Ah, jeez, what? Okay, so those things in the front... Uh, what are Anyone those? Anyone else thinking we, that we probably should have killed them when we had the chance? Uh, we would have probably been ambushed from behind by all those guys anyways. At least at this point we have more strength. I'm a revenant, I just come back. I have a literal army of phantoms. Wait, does that mean we can farm you? Yes. He's like, uh, shut up. Why is we getting some XP? <laughs> They have um, XP they're talking Unlimited about. gold drops, too. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Worth. Nah, sadly, no gold drops like that. Oh. Uh, well, uh, yeah, I can't, I can't sell his ghostly nice sword. sword. That's a, it's a pretty sick looking sword. Yeah, it is. It's it's a pretty magical looking sword he's got there. Can I, can, can, can I roll to steal it? <laughs> <laughs> just grab it and just, just yoink it and stab him. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, alright. Impressive, but I, my I, I, noble I, I, phantasm. I, I Unlimited saw... gold works. Uh, oh there god. Was one guy. He had <laughs> magic hand and he was an arcane trickster. And what he did is he pickpocketed a guy that had a ring on him and just took <laughs> it away. Just straight up. Magic ring. That's funny. Yeah. Uh. I wish I had taken Fabricate, so I could have fabricated that spellbook. Uh, I'm so unsure what to do at this point. Uh, You're up. Yeah, I know. I think you can fabricate you can... spellbooks. Well, no, I yeah, no, I, I, <laughs> I could fabricate a copy. But anyway, Einar, you can fly. You can just stay away if you want. I mean, I mean, he could rage prepare an action when they get close to the shield guardian and whack them. She might also remember that the phantoms are kind of shit, at least the last time they fought Fokan. That's because he had yeah. armor. Fokan had armor. Fokan yeah, but... went crazy. You're an HP sponge. Yes, death is not preferred. You could be res. Actually, what I, actually what I can do, hold on. Okay, why... Then roll 20 broke it, so... Here, uh, let me tell you what I'm going to do and then go with the next turn. I'm going to fly all the way up. Wait, no, I'm going to fly kind of at a diagonal. So I'm okay. above the ghosts in the back. I'm going to rage, oh, yeah. and I'm going to taunt all of the ranged guys and let them know that their mother is so fucking ugly. They're, <laughs> she is uglier than those zombies that we killed in there. Like, goddamn. Saggier <laughs> than their flesh. That, that's my turn. Just gonna taunt all the ranged zombies and fly above them. Okay. You've got, like, are you dashing or what? Yeah, I'm dashing because it's. I got nothing else I can do. Yeah, okay. So you're, like, up here, but, you know, like, way up. Yeah. Alright. Uh, since it's, like, 50 movement, I'm, I guess it's 50 towards them and then 50 up, you could say. Okay. That makes sense. And I rage. Yeah. Some uh, some geometry. Yep. That's a square, kids. <laughs> I'm actually curious how high you would be if you just went straight 50, 50 feet up. Well, it'd be 50-50. Oh, God, that's a hypotenuse. No, get away from me. Shut up. Get out of here with your demon man. <laughs> Get out of here with your man. Hey man, the uh if if there's anything an engineering degree can do, it, it can help you with useless information. Worth it. Not how high it is. Uh Esmeralda Oh wait, Revenant. Revenant. Ooh. Oh wow. Nifty. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this revenant is going to step forward, and he is going to glare at uh, Esmeralda. She needs oh. to make a wisdom save. Uh, 
gosh. She is paralyzed. Um, Esmeralda's never encountered such a big amount of He, these he stares vengefully. She's pretty scared. <laughs> Don't worry, boss. We're we're here to soak up lots of hits for you. I'm just I don't have a ranged attack though. And so that's his turn. It's Esmeralda's turn, and she needs to make another wisdom save with disadvantage this time. Uh, is this is the she start. Is oh, that's Mimi. It's the end of the turn. Oh, okay, the what's, what's Esmeralda? Plus minus three, so 18. A, yeah, she passes. She is no longer paralyzed, but she's lost her turn. Okay. It's a Mimi turn. Um, Mimi is... Oh, gosh. It's a Mimi. 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 It's a target-rich <laughs> environment. Mimi's gonna step forward. Uh, she is going to assist, but this is not on Mimi's attack, this is probably on someone else's. Uh, she's going to... Actually, I was gonna Eldritch Blast, but she should definitely be chill-touching right now. Uh, she places her hand of, uh, her deadly hand on the shoulder of this... I mean, it's more like Chia is... And Chia doesn't even have opposable thumbs, which is why it's... <laughs> she just got really cold feet. <laughs> so there we Chia, go. Is Chia helping you for this? Uh, Chia's helping the next person to attack the Revenant. Okay, you miss. Two. Okay. So this lot follows somewhat similar patterns to what their friend had done. Oops. Moving on in. And it's Ismark's turn. Touch them, Ismark! Touch them! Oh, Ismark is going to uh, not touch, even though... Well, let's see. Yeah, Ismark draws his longsword. Come on. Sorry. Don't, don't, don't go commit suicide, Ben. Oh, right. Can't do that. Give me one sec, guys. Sorry. My roll 20 is being a real turd today. I don't think I can make it. Oh, well, if I can move through... Yeah, that's some space there. Alright, Ismark walks up and is going to start swinging. Chop, 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 chop. Ooh. Okay, so that's, uh, yep. That is uh, a little bit of damage, you know. His sword isn't super effective because he's, like, trying to cut through this a ghosty ghost? guy. But, you know, chips away at the ethereal goop. And then it's Thoken's turn. Alright. Alright. We, we, we know how we start. We start with the Shield of Faith, and then we're gonna move, and then we're gonna mount, and then we're gonna ride into combat. <sighs> Alright. So I can only move 15 feet and still mount, so I'll go there. Come on, horsey boy. <sighs> and then w I guess we'll just... I can get to here. Or... How much is um, a horse's movement? Is it 50? 60. Okay. I thought it was 80. No. Warhorse is going to dash. Okay. Hard no, the I'm going to take two swings at that guy. Okay. Does a 19 hit that boy? Here comes that boy. Oh. Stupid sheep. Ah. Roll 20, why you do this to me? I think it does, but I need to double check. I am. Yeah, no Roll 20 is just a nightmare right now for me. 
it's flying for me. Just having issues. Um, I never have a problem with this fucking website. Yeah, uh, yeah, that does hit. All right, here come. Uh, 3D two second level smites. Okay, so two second level smites. So that's your your normal damage with the 1D8 for being undead, and then a total of if they're second level smites, then they're 48 apiece because he's undead. Excellent. Boss crushing. 27, nice. 39, 60, <laughs> 69. <laughs> actually... Nice. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, you walk up to him, you deal 69 damage in, in two quick hits, and he looks surprisingly okay. Like, he's definitely not happy about this, but he looks like he could take another <laughs> one of those. Mm-hmm. Just do it again. Send him to Flavor Town. Do it again. Do it again. I dare you. He's like, you are an impressive warrior, but your head will roll nonetheless. Wow. Jerk. That's not nice. No, could this... you, um, Claire, could you move the horse to the back? Yes, like, I uh... can. Because it's in front of the can. Oh man, Maybe and then that the was horse design. can have the shield thing. This that is would be design. amazing. So you've got what, 23 AC? I do, yeah, I have 23 AC. Well, that one hits, 24. So, con save! Yep. Uh, constitution saving through! Alright, you easily pass it. And then it is Naked Ray's turn. Naked mm. Ray. Naked Ray, there's some homeboys who are uh, doing some bad things. Yeah. I am unsure what to do because, you know, not Panic. Panic. Hail of Thorns. Panic. Panic. Wait, yeah, Hail of Thorns. 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 Also, <sighs> that. Do that. Yeah. Um, I, I do that. but uh, I do the thing. I, I do the things. Uh, I'm trying to remember if revenants do uh, take normal damage from silver arrows. Or Only not. one way to find out. Hard on the paint. Hard on your, the paint. Uh, give me some kind of nature or knowledge check. Oh yeah, he's an some... undead expert. He should know just off yeah. hand. <laughs> should know a lot of things. All right. Uh, yeah, you remember that revenants don't actually uh, have any kind of resistances to weapons. Hooray! I'm <laughs> saved. <laughs> that guy's not. Fuck that guy. I'm take. Dokan, I believe you had the right idea. Um. Are you sharpshooting? I am. No, I'm not sharpshooting. I don't think I have enough accuracy to hit that guy. Um. Yeah, he's pretty well armored. I'm Hunter's marking him, though. Okay. He is wearing half plate. Oh. And pretty tanky. Just shooting him with some uh, normal, normal thing. Oh, okay. They both hit. Okay. Colossus both Slayer. Yeah. So. Your Colossus, your Hunter's mark. Damn. Wow. Uh, Hunter's <laughs> mark is... 2d6, because you hit twice. Damn. Wow. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, and for my shield, my shield guardian, um, yeah. if he goes just straight in, does he take an attack of opportunity from this guy? Mm, no. Where is I he going? Think he, I, I mean, he's definitely threatened by him, but I don't think he takes an attack of opportunity if he just wades in like here. All right. I'm sending him in, Captain. Okay. Shifts past, yeah, the other ones. He, he ignores the other ones because, you know, he. I, I see the big. He's that cool. 
He's that cool. Punch, <laughs> punch, punch. Give him the flavor. Yes, yes, I had to pull up the sheet. Flavor down. <laughs> flavor down. Okay. The first one is blocked, but the second one does connect. There's like a bam! Punches him. Gets him with that left hook. Yup. Spooky Once dude seen that all threatened, cut, but you know, take takes the takes the left hook. And take then, that spooky boy. Uh Einar, your your taunt was successful. You're you're getting shot at. <laughs> Good and bad news. As soon as I remember to open up their sheet. Yeah. There we go. Do 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 Wow. Wow, he actually misses. Damn. He misses. <laughs> that was minimum damage. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, then the next one is You're like, wow, there's threatened. a melee going on. Woohoo! <laughs> Stab the big guy. Woohoo! Miss, miss. And then this guy's like, okay, okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. You want to fight me with your fancy ass hor horse and whatnot? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, wow. I thought I, I thought I made that pretty obvious. <laughs> Don't uh, you dare so... try to attack my horse, you dick! Do you actually tell him that? Yeah. Okay, he's gonna attack your horse. Son of a bitch! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Plus two <laughs> flavored. Goodbye, horse. <laughs> <Damn. Yep. laughs> Shit. He has been uh, successfully flavored. Jesus it, H. Isn't it like a DC ten deck save just to not fall prone or something? Yes. I Whee! So does that mean though Ken doesn't have uh Battle Rider or whatever? Mounted no, combatant? Don't. No, I don't believe he does. You said uh, DC 10 deck safe is what I'm making? Yeah. <laughs> I fall. Okay. You fall prone. I fall on my bum. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, so that's 34. He's like, I can do damage too, by the way. All right, cool. Um, I'm gonna roll. Uh, so that's DC 17 stones. con save. Yeah, that's well, oh, you're that's rolling first stones. Okay, that's a, that's probably a good one. <laughs> I don't know why the radiant is in there, but I obviously don't take four radiant yeah. damage. Yeah, it's a radiant save. You understand? <laughs> so 34 is just too good. Yeah, 27 damage, and that's DC 13 Got con it. save to maintain your shield of faith. Income. Okay, you still make it. And then we get someone else trying to shoot Einar. First one hits. Halved, because you have even force damage. Yep. Yes. And then this Revenant's like, oh boy, we're ganging up on someone who's on the ground. This is my favorite game. Oh, no, 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 Someone, someone throw a potion at him. I swear to God. Okay, oh, if you gosh. die, I'm killing you myself. <laughs> if you die, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> if you die, I'm bringing you back right. and killing you again. I don't know what the con save is, but that's a, there's a 17. Okay, that's enough. All right. Um, okay, I'm red. <laughs> do I... I just don't... Okay, I know this is kind of a dick move, but I think my character is kind of in a dick attitude right now. So I'm gonna not... I'm not gonna hit my friends with magic exactly, but I am gonna use magic instead of helping. So... I'm gonna do a cone of cold at pretty much everybody down like, cause 60 feet. Okay, so we you're can, trying to figure out what all you can hit without I can hitting. Sweep, I can sweep pretty much all these bros. Mm -hmm. 
You can definitely sweep a long way. Well, you know, Einar is, yeah. is yeah, Einar is very high up. Yeah. Uh, so technically, if you went at a forty-five degree angle and you was a hundred uh, feet, you would be at seventy-one. So I'll take it. I can do it. I'll right take now? it. No. Oh no. Yeah. Wait. Really? I thought you were too high up, but I guess not. To what? To not destroy Einar. What? Einar should be plenty high up. Okay. Yeah, I'm way up there. Here I, I go. Don't believe, I don't believe cones go very high vertically. 40. Noise. Or maybe they do. I don't know. By the way, uh, so that's a lot. Um, so would it be fair to say you're doing something like that? Yeah. That kind of cone? I'm just trying yeah, to get... I, get I yeah. don't think you can hit anyone else without cooking Thogan. No, no. Freezing, deep freezing. You get what I mean. Yeah, I'm just going for the whole One, bottom. One, two, three, the bottom four, half five, of six, seven. And that eight. random guy that's here. Um. Sorry for making nice. you roll so many saves. Oh. God damn it, guys! Oh. Stop critting your saves. Um. So let's see. DC sixteen. So one, two, three, four. Four of them are just flat out dead. Okay. Nice. Boop. Boop. So it was four, and then the others take 20 damage. Tasty. Okay. And then uh, they were going to shoot Einar, but they're like, hang on, we just got blasted by this wizard guy. Let's poke oh, him full can arrows. I, can I have some yeah. blade song as well? I meant to, but I had so much thought going Yeah, that's, that. a, okay. that's a bonus action. That's fine. So how do 16 and 17 look? Nothing. I'm at 21, actually. I said 20 before, <laughs> but I'm at 21 AC. Uh, did you shield? Wait, which one? Oh, I shield, yeah. No, I, yeah, that's, that's what I was figuring, but you know. And then Casimir's like, oh boy, this is a, this is a humdigger of a mess, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, I'm very old Did now. say humdigger? <laughs> he became real old. I'm very, very old, you see now. Oh yeah, that's right, he became, yeah. <laughs> he became super old and like... I forgot, yeah, he's, he's corpsey. Doesn't want to hit you, but spell casting is really hard. Eh, not really. He's like, um, I'm, I'm sorry, Mister Ismark. You're, you're going to have to make some sort of save. <laughs> Ismark's like, it's a living. I, I, it's a, it's a dexterity save, my, my good friend. Okay, here we go. I, I'm casting, uh, uh, it's, it's called Ice Storm. It's pretty cool. Oh shit, I forgot that I have that. <laughs> uh, so one, two, three of those. <laughs> so they all failed. I have to actually roll the damage for that. Whoops. I mean, they're already pretty frozen up, so... Is... No, those are the ones that aren't frozen. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's all the guys over here, I think. Which uh, square is this guy in, by the way? He seems to kind of be which guy out in the limbo. The the head guy. He's kind of like oh yeah, he is just kind of in the middle. I guess he would be mostly in this. Dang it! I can't even paint. There's too much stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like there, basically. Got it. Okay, so wow, that wow, what what damage rolls? Um, wow, that's kind of sad. All right, so twenty one for each of those. Ismark takes Ooh. half of each. Is that right? Yes, okay. I believe. 
I will double check in a moment. Because then I need to... Yeah, it should be just half damage flat out, so... Alright. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, it's also difficult terrain. Is this a constant? Or is this just the stuff on the ground? Uh, yeah, just the, just... the the stuff on the ground around where he cast it. It's not much of a problem unless you're wading into that There's area. There's stones all over there. And yeah. it only lasts for one round, so... Oh, I still need to make that guy and that guy. Saves. Okay. Bloop. And is anyone going to save against his spell other than Ismark? Apparently not. All right. His spell was much more effective than expected, even though he rolled low on damage. <laughs> The head honcho is looking greatly weakened from where he was. Go poke him on art. <laughs> still, still looks like he could probably beat up any of you. Yeah, he can't that's, that's reach a little you, spooky. But he can't reach you. <laughs> you can, oh yeah, you can, oh yeah, great swords don't have reach. Ten feet boys. over his head. And I forgot. I forgot they don't goal. have that reach. That's your. Yeah, big, I forgot they don't have the reach. That's your big thing right now. Is you're able to just stay out of everyone's reach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. Not poking you. I'm not poking you. I'm poking you. Yeah, let's go with that. I do have to hit though. Um, so you know, yeah, twenty-five yeah. over there, and kind of just be above ten feet above his head, just out of range. Yep. Well, of him. Okay. Ish. Yeah, something like that. I'll be like right there, but I'll be yeah. above him. Is it? Yeah, it's not super important. And maybe it is. I don't. Know. This guy's this guy's pretty beefy, so I'm just gonna three hits. Uh, just gonna... Nah, I'll okay. reckless attack. I'll reckless attack. Why not? Okay. Do it. Yeah, I mean, you may as well, right? Well, okay, so that's one two maybe hits. hit. Oh, yeah. no, wait, two, right? Reckless, yeah. Okay. It's something. You poke him. Yeah, and then I just fly whatever distance I had a little bit higher. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's revenant D or ghosty. So it's probably half. No. Nope. He's not uh, a ghost. You're no. He's, he's a ghost, revenant. but he's in a boy body. Ah, oh, okay. Then mm -hmm. yeah. All right, and I'm just gonna float a little bit higher. Yeah, you poke just for good. safety. Yeah, I thought he was a ghost. Okay. He's like, I'm gonna turn you into a ghost. He's a revenant. He's a super zombie. I can then... tell this picture. He's got muscles on his muscle. <laughs> uh, this revenant is like ugly. Statue thingy must stab. Fuck off, mate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Yeah, it's uh, it's not too terrible a fate. And then this phantom warrior is going to try to fight back at Ismark because you know he doesn't he doesn't like being stabbed. Ismark's at a 17, so those miss. Alright, Esmeralda finally gets a turn. Uh, finally. <laughs> I say really grumpily. Grump, grump. Uh, Esmeralda is... Oh, whoops. In the wrong tool. So, Mimi's thingy probably doesn't need to go to waste. Uh, because Esmeralda is just gonna... Uh, yeah, she's totally strong enough to completely destroy that thing in one round. She's just gonna do. She's chopping away at the revenant. She's chopping away at this revenant. Oh, okay. Um, and sh she is chopping away at the revenant because I otherwise I'll just be grumpy because she is help action. <laughs> <laughs> Got wasted. Well, I mean, she lands. She lands some hits. It's it's a good use of a turn. Pachu, pachu, ting ting slash. Meanwhile, Mimi is running 
Uh, she's running directly into the fray. Uh, she's gonna... Bill Ken's prone, right? So, yeah, I'm all, I'm all uh, She's gonna get, like, above him, sort of. Uh, and she... She's taking two attacks of opportunity, by the way. Um, she is looking pretty darned angry. Okay. Uh, Wisdom saves, please, I guess. Poor Claire. Oh, right, yeah, they're, um, they're, oh gosh, they're pretty high wisdom saves. They're DC 16. Uh, and neither of them hit her. Um, so, Mimi is standing over Thokan. I'm going to use my Cunning Insight Story Award. So she's going to get advantage on, actually, no, do these count as attack rolls, spell attacks? Uh, I'm going to hex this guy, um this guy the boss. and she is going to eldritch blast him and then the mm -hmm. revenant next to her okay which both of them hit uh, yep. and also hex in that Sweet. order push those so fools. um am i able to use my uh like item interaction or whatever to hand the oak can a potion of healing yes uh, can't apply it to him, but you can hand it to him. Awesome. Uh, and he's shouting, Get away from him, you monsters. I forgot to buy a pile of healing potions. Whoopsie. She's just gonna be right here. Pointing her ravens at everybody. Oh, also, uh, she is gonna, gonna help the Ocan, because... Intense, passionate feelings transmitted into. Oh, Chia media. has intense, passionate feelings for me. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is Mimi's whole turn, I believe. Okay. That was a really good turn. Mm-hmm. So this phantom warrior is going to try to stab Mimi, and then the... Actually, can I choose not to have my Among the Dead count? I don't think you can. <sighs> Make those DC 16 wisdom saves. They fail. So instead, they're going to... Well, I guess one of them is going to attack Thokan. There are two misses. Yep. <laughs> and the other one is going to follow suit. Two more misses. And then the final one wants to try to stab Alarad. He's oh. like, you know, I, I think it's really unfair how high a player AC can get, you know. <laughs> 21. Uh, Glad you, Van. Yes, I'm going to shield. Okay. In that case, it's Ismark's turn. Ismark. Oh, that's Ismark. you, Spencer. I know, I keep Ism forgetting. All right, Ismark pulls, out, Ismark, Ismark pulls out a short sword and looks at the boss and is like, oh no, not you. Um, and is going <laughs> to... Oh man, one one five damage hit. Yep, that's it. <laughs> Poor Ismark. So then it's Thokan's turn. All right, if I stand up, does maybe just like go on my shoulders? <gasps> or does uh, she you, randomly yeah. pick a square or what's you, you can't stand up in someone else's square. Technically, you can be there. Um can You I, really can't. I mean, I could crawl, right? Yeah, you can or like, like crawl to a different attack of a square. 
there, but yeah, yeah, be careful of where you crawl to. Right. Well, if I crawl there, I don't leave anybody's threat range. But either way, let's start with forty points of lay on hands into myself. Let's just let's just get that out of the way. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you did your big damage. <laughs> I did. <laughs> and I'm gonna. Uh, I, yeah, I guess I'll crawl over there and stand up. I'll kind of like brush myself off and be like, geez, that was super embarrassing. Chirp, chirp. Was, that, was that your horse or somebody <laughs> else's horse? That was my uh, mount. Oh, my okay. War horse or whatever. It'll be back. Um, yeah. Who around here looks like they're not doing so hot? That's you. in my range. Oh, you? Fine. You? Besides, <laughs> besides me. <laughs> You, uh, the yeah. enemy boss guy. Oh, I mean, like within my range. I'm sorry. Which of these three guys looks like I should punch them in the face? Um, wait. How do you have an action left? Yeah, you use your. Oh, you're right. Hands. Yo. Yep, you're totally right. Never mind. Yep. All right. Yeah, that's uh, that's probably it for me then. Nakare is gonna snipe the boss. I assume. <laughs> I don't think I have any kind of um. 360 mil I could use that isn't concentrations. So, yeah. Oh. Oh darn. Womp womp womp. Clank clank. Right. You're, you're plus uh, nine. Wow. I am going. Okay, so for the cone of cold. Or sorry, ice storm. Mm hmm. Uh, that. What is that? A cone? But it would be an it's action, a action, which I yeah, should, I it's, forgot that you were going to do. It, that. It's stored in the golem. Oh, yeah. So it is a twenty foot uh, radius with a like that goes forty feet high. Drop it. Okay. Drop it right. I already counted it out for when I was going to do. Drop it, it like it's hot. Uh, uh, the one <laughs> yeah, at the lower next to the lower right. You'd have to drop it like here. Yeah, that's what I was trying to point to. But, yeah. All my stuff isn't working, but yeah, I I drop it there to hit all these guys. Okay. Because unfortunately, I he can't reach the boss without taking an attack of opportunity. Wait, where are you dropping it? Uh, on the back, guys. Okay. Just because someone had pinged, and I, I was wondering if that was you for a moment. No. Oh, no, that was me. I accidentally pinged. Okay, Spencer, do you just want to roll the damage for that? Sure. One, two, three, four, four. This guy. Come on. Okay. My roll 20 is spazzing out. Let's see if it actually goes through. <laughs> No? If not, if not, I believe it's just 66, so. Uh, I'll try one more time. Naker Array. Well, I'll just do it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually 46 plus 2d8. Okay. Here we go. I got this. Okay. Boom. Okay. And so that is one dead phantom. Two dead phantoms. An unhappy revenant. And then two more very unhappy phantoms. They're like, it's cold, and also I got hit. It hurts. Maybe you should have died then. Wow. We, dead. We, we will die, but we'll just come back. It's how, it's how we work. Stay dead, damn it! We don't. We don't stay dead. It's not our thing. You were uh, supposed to be good people. Uh oh, that guy's still up. Oh no. Yeah, he's still up. He's like, um. Who does he want to hurt the most? Ah, okay. That's fine. Madam makes, Searing Hatred? Makes little difference. Anyway. Um, yeah, I wouldn't have gone much farther than that anyway. So, yeah, so he's good. just going to try to cut up Mr. Uh, 
Bismarcky. Mr. Ismark. He's like, you know what? I'm just going to chop you up. I don't like you anymore. Oh, gee. Uh, okay. Ismark takes 18 damage. But is a Mm -hmm. veteran, so... Fine. This revenant, he he looks up at uh, Einar, who's floating like thirty feet in the sky, and he flips you the bird and wants you to make a wisdom save. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, if you get I paralyzed, for- you're gonna you fall. Forget about that, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I'm fine. You you successfully nice. don't get paralyzed, and he's just gonna scrabble forth till he's like next to Thogan. Right. Why is everyone oh, crowding Thogan? Yeah. All right. Here's... Does he look vaguely familiar? Did I kill him once upon a time in Argenvoss Tolt? No. This is like just. It looks like it's just some random peasant corpse. All right. So here's the outer wall of my cone of cold. Oh, whoopsie. Hold on. Ugh. Right. Right there. I'm going to shift around that goon. See. Just one space. And I just want to. Oh, wait. I won't be able to hit those guys in the back, so it doesn't matter. Uh, cause that revenant moved. That was the point. Okay, I'm going to. What else do I got in the spell book? Green flame blade. Uh, yeah. Fireball. I don't wall like... of fire. No. I, I <laughs> wall of fire would be pretty nice about now. I am... Not really. Wall of fire would mostly cook you people. <laughs> I am going to. Uh. I guess what is it action do you have magic missile yeah i guess i'll just magic missile uh the no i'll just i'll just even though it i'm gonna start being real scared i'm gonna just gonna green flame blade the guy in front of me if <laughs> my sheet will work please roll 20 just oh god one more sec guys Eh? Eh? Okay, maybe I can just click it off my sheet. There we go. There we go. Hooray. All right, you miss. Yay, I've missed. Here I am. Continue And then on. there's some more bow attacks coming your way. But they're god-awful. There can only be one true sniper. And it's definitely not those guys. Uh, Casimir is like, we're we're doing very well. Good job, everyone. Um, and then does he make some kind of comment about like kids today? No, he's he's pretty impressed with with what you, with how you're doing things. He's happy. Um. Instead, he's just going to chuck a good old-fashioned second-level magic missile at uh, this this one phantom warrior. The, the phantom warrior dies. He's like, ah, oh, I've still got it. <laughs> It's Einar's turn. Einar, get your ass down here. <laughs> gonna float over there. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta some to Flavor Town. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm gonna try with that reckless attack. Just see, you could be full right. on power striking these and hitting. Well, I'd imagine he's actually well armored. Yeah. Power strike might mess He's that wearing up. Half plate. We were hitting with sixteens. <laughs> no, you weren't. <laughs> oh, never mind. Well, the thing is, that twelve, well, that nineteen would miss. The twenty would miss. Yeah. It, it's 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 just but painful. Yeah. As is, you've got three hits there. Okay. All right. He looks uh, really bad. 
I'm just gonna stay ten feet above. Mm-hmm. He, uh, he looks like things are not going too good for him. And, uh, this Revenant is going to attempt to paralyze Thoken. So can I have a wisdom save? Oh, can he see me? Through the shield guardian? That nerd. <sighs> All right. Oh, right, that's not a spell. <laughs> Fifteen. All right, you save. Cool. It's Esmeralda's turn. Esmeralda, uh, it looks at this thing that just tried to paralyze the dude uh, on the other side of the robot. <laughs> and How she, insulting oh, I'm to looking, her. Yeah, look, I'm... If there's one thing I don't like, it's being ignored. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> callbacks, callbacks for everybody. <laughs> She stabs the Revenant, uh, I believe, through the skull, uh, then through the skull, then oh. through the chest. He's like, you know, I, I don't need those to move, you know. This is incredibly yeah. inconvenient. <laughs> He's like, uh, all of my senses are just kind of magical at this point. Uh, you can't inconvenience me this way. I'm going to it's stab you on my turn. Love. He's like, I only understand hatred and stabbing things. That's <laughs> um, get a turn, motherfucker. It's a Mimi turn. Mimi is a little bit upset that they're still here. Um, they're still alive. <laughs> the, so she's going to Eldritch Blast... The, these don't get this advantage anymore, but she's Eldritch Blasting the Revenant and then this one. Okay. So the Revenant takes four damage, gets pushed away. And that one gets pushed away. What's um, a Chia do? Oh, Chia? Chia's... She is being Mimi's buddy. Or no, she is being Thokan's buddy. Roger, Roger. She is saying, If there's something I don't like, it's being mm -hmm. ignored. So, <laughs> <laughs> would that guy have had to have willingly move into Einar's threat range to take an attack? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That's being what pushed thought. doesn't count. That's Sorry. Right. So then we we're gonna have oh, two coming in towards Ismark. Oh boy. Oh, Ismark. Oh um no. and Mimi's going to move to here. So she's more of a target a little bit. Alright, Ismark and takes we got, fifteen. Yep, more. don't worry, Mimi. There's two coming your way too, assuming he makes his save. Which he probably won't. Alright, he does. Uh, he totally does. Oh gosh. So there you um, go. So Mimi has been Too con stabbed. Save. Uh, oh gosh, I have to do math. I've not done math in a lot in a long time. No, you don't. You just type it into your token thing. Yeah, you just click right. it and click minus, and then type that in. Minus, minus seven, fifteen. Minus eight. You said I didn't have to do math, so I'm doing the easy one. Uh, um, ten force damage to she should be saving on her hex, which uh, she does not save. Yep, that is right. Uh, wait, I can't shield that, can I? I don't know. Can you? Yeah, I can. Okay, then you shield. Bonk. Bonk. All right, and now it's Ismark's turn. He's, he's feeling a little sweaty. Ismark is gonna is really scared. Ten better days. But Ismark, as destiny is to be a hero, he's gonna attack the boss. <laughs> nope, not a hero today. <laughs> you gave not it your today. best shot, buddy. <laughs> cling, cling, plonk. Uh, <laughs> that's some that's Boy some good cling. armor you got there. Oh, jeez. It's uh, like it's all skill. Okay. Ah, jeez, Rick. Oh, jeez, Rick. Oh, jeez, oh, 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 Rick. Oh, jeez, Rick. I don't know about fighting some revenants, Rick. Well, I guess I we'll start. I don't think this is what I signed up for. 
But so with two attacks, I can make an attack move and attack again, right? I, I, I almost yes. fucking forget. All right. We're going to attack the dude to the top left with advantage. I'll use okay. a level one smite on him. Okay. 11 plus, what, 3d8, I think? 3d8. So 21 damage. All right, you bring some flavor to him. Is he still alive? Oh yeah, he he was. Uh, this this one actually hadn't been touched at all yet. You can still move up there and hit the other guy. You yeah, we're taking attack of opportunity though. No, you'll be within five no. of that guy. You just gotta move up ten oh, feet. Oh yeah, move through Mimi. Okay. All right, yeah, I'm gonna bonus action use my oath of vengeance on that guy, the boss. Oh, okay. Move forward through Mimi and then take a strike at the boss boy. Okay. I love how fucking Einar is giving me combat advice 50 feet in a goddamn ass. <laughs> I'm just like, screaming. Go through, go through, go through! <laughs> <laughs> I'm here getting chopped into pieces, you rage-filled <laughs> I'm a rage bird, it's okay. <laughs> it's right, uh, we're we're going to do a level level 2 uh, smite as well. So Okay. Oh, yeah. best flavor. You 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 bring down your sword upon his skull and just kind of split him down, like not quite all the way down the middle, but you you definitely manage to go from like the skull down to the middle of his rib cage. So is he still on my sword? Wait, as a what bonus action, can I taunt him? <laughs> like, you, get a, you get a free action to talk, I think. Yeah, you, you can you can as taunt he him. Dies, for free. Like. You had a choice. You chose wrong. He's like, "I'll be back, you moron." Yeah, I was gonna be like, "I was gonna be like, we'll see you again shortly," and like, shit, I'll <laughs> see you later, and alligator. Funny. I mean, if we don't worry, why? I mean, you know, if we defeat Strahd, maybe we'll free all the dead. Ah, oh, yeah, that's true. He's like, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> you get nothing! You could have had your revenge, you chose to be an ass. Yeah, by the way, he'll be back, like, for a year. You lose, sir. Good day. Did you say he'll be back in, like, a year? No, he'll be back for a year. No, he'll be back forever. That's how Barovia works. Oh. You're trapped here forever. Well, Rev basically, I thought, I thought a revenant like revenants working... only have a year to to fulfill their uh, vengeance. In, Outside of Barovia, Barovia, that's true. It in Barovia they have. Barovia that is run by Mr. Burns. Remember, so you're ever. here forever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. Uh, that's that's definitely my turn. I used both attacks. I used movement and I used my bonus action. So. Oh, can Mimi see the soul? fly out into finding another body? I mean, you, you just kind of see the soul go up and in a random direction. So, yes, you do. Cool. So, yeah, briefly, you know, goes north. That's new. Which isn't surprising because almost oh, everything shit. in Barovia is north of where you are at the moment. Maybe you can see poltergeists now, probably. Well, yeah, yes. we don't need to go exterminate poltergeists. That that seems like a rather <laughs> tedious use of your time. But well, they it's were, Snake turn. They were kind of dead. Right. Uh, I'm moving my Hunter's Mark over to the Revenant that's right next to the Shield Guardian. Yep. And I'm shooting that guy now. <laughs> All right. There you go. Oh, yeah. There you yeah. go. That's two hits. All right. Give me all that damage. Flavor. Oh yeah, shit. Well, it should be. Is it two d eight because of the the what account? Uh, oh no, yeah. you're right. Yeah. So nine, twenty, twenty-nine. Okay. It, it's you land a couple good hits. He's like, ugh, I'm a damage sponge. I can take a lot of that. Well, that's good because now you're getting a shield guardian to the face. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Those hit. He's like, boom, boom. Okay, that's that hurts. Can I imagine that 
Nakare didn't say that, and the guy's like, that hurt, I'm a damage spot, and like, mid-sentence, <laughs> two <laughs> big steel fists just come like, wham, wham! <laughs> <laughs> and then I said, that's what you think. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Capitalism is not an option. <laughs> Sorry, no, wait. Death is preferable. Yeah. There you Alternative go. to communism. Yep. Uh, this revenant's like, I'm gonna be a dick, and he's gonna run over to Ismark. Well, he I does enter. He does, yeah. Yeah, I believe he enters Einar's range. Hi. Hi there. <laughs> is he doing the glare at Ismark, or what is he doing? Well, he's actually going to try to punch him. Uh, He'll take 10, but he's going to bring out the the pain. Ismark is at 0 HP. Cool. Oh, oh I'm going to start start a dying. I just realized that flaw is the worst. Sorry, thought I could kill that guy. But I didn't kill him. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Ismark is in trouble. Okay. The blood on. Um, just as a heads up, if you're not. Baby fresh corpses for our leader. Alara. And for Einar's lunch. <laughs> oh, baby. The lunch, it's going to be good eating. <laughs> okay, let's see. I, You know, well, I wasn't. I guess. Give me one second, guys. What? Yeah. All right, I'll take that attack of opportunity running past, and I will use my ring of spell storing, and I'll drop one on Ismark. If you'd be so kind, though, Ken, to use one of your level one cure wound spells. Yep, have one. <laughs> hey, and he takes two radiant damage. <laughs> oh, baby. Get some. <laughs> Get some. <laughs> Uh, so, healing for our boy. Okay. Here we go. Rocketed back to life. And that's my turn. Yep. Okay. Alright. The two at the bottom are like, ah, oh, the wizard's gone. Let's uh let's shoot that girl over there. Wisdom save. Yep. <laughs> Never mind. The other one's like, no, no, we should, we should actually, we should actually try to shoot uh, the the other guy, the big guy. Let's shoot the big guy. No, no, not that one. That that guy. The, 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 the one in the middle robot. <laughs> this is yeah, the worst the, class the, feature ever. No, they're gonna they're gonna shoot Thokan. <laughs> well, they're gonna try to. I mean, it's not that easy. I'm so sorry, I'm being being cheesy. Cheesy. I actually have Full to crit to hit me. token at the moment. Oh. Because okay. they are really bad with those bows. Have they not, like, figured that out yet? <laughs> no. Are they just like, damn, what a poor <laughs> streak like, of luck. They're like, you know what? We were given these bows and told to use them. And My use who, them, the we devil? shall. Meanwhile, uh, Casimir is like, "Oh, things are things are going well. I'm <coughs> just gonna start shooting people with fire." Does his damage work today? No, it does not. Two D ten. He uh, torches a uh, another phantom warrior. It's uh, it's starting to leak ectopa ectoplasm pretty badly. Did he get... Yeah. He might have a second D10. I think I, he did. The, the, did, the fireball had five, and then the main yeah. one was Oh, I six. see now. I see now. Okay. I see, said the blind man, as he picked up his hammer and saw. I see, said the blind man, to his deaf brother. I see, as the blind <laughs> man, as he pissed into the wind. It's all coming back to me now. <laughs> 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 okay uh oh yeah it's einar's turn all right i'm gonna see this revenant next to me he seems pretty fleshy 
He's got. It looks like he had his calcium when he was alive. He's like, Those oh, some good I, bones. I was just the fleshiest of flesh. So I'm gonna reckless attack him. Uh, no power strike. You said half plate. I think of these guys. Are. No, these guys have barely anything. They've got like a little bit of. Yeah, of she like, mentioned they they basically look like peasants, so they're probably like. Okay. Medium these guys armor. have like a little bit of uh, mismatched armor. The, it was only the boss who had serious armor. I'll take the risk of power strike then. Let's see what we got. Could test the armor at least. See, it all worked out. So you reckless powered. Uh, yeah. That's the second and third one hit. The first one just barely misses. All right. 18, 14, or 20, 16. 36. <laughs> yep. You, you land some good hits. You hear some bones break. A lot of bones Delicious. breaking. <laughs> oh, it, it adds... Bite-sized pieces. Oh, definitely. Definitely. And this this one's like, you know what, lady? Stop stabbing me. I'll punch you. I love they've been in a blood feud since, like, the first round of this fight. <laughs> <laughs> I assume those are both hits. Uh, yes, they are. Does she have shield or anything? Uh, um, um shield wouldn't help. God, okay. God damn. <laughs> she takes a total of 48 damage. She gets clocked in the face. Oh, wow. That's a lot of flavor, Tom. Yeah, he has definitely sworn vengeance against her. Hope oh. you had your calcium. <laughs> Well, it's Esmeralda's turn to to try to turn the tables. Yeah, how is this guy looking? Uh, better than her. Um, how about now? Uh, you know, so you this said is one that, of those. Like, you didn't she's... hit the button yet, so I don't know what you're. Oh, it didn't. It oh, it just rolled damage for some reason. That's supposed to be a. Hey, why is it not working? Are you talking to yourself? I I don't know. I'm talking to myself now. Um, I talk to myself the, almost saying... 24 hours a day. Unless okay. we're playing D&D, um, &D, I'm talking to myself. In D &D, I... are you talking yet? Okay, she's casting Lightning Bolt is what I'm trying to say. Uh, it's supposed to be that plus another yep. 2d6. Okay, I so roll your 2d6 um, and I'll get those deck saves up and running. And because optimization or whatever goes through both this guy and the other guy. <laughs> the other guy's like, what did I do? <laughs> As he immediately dies. <laughs> no, he, he's actually just, uh, I mean, he's uh, looking a little charred, but, you know. He's had, poor, he has not had worse days. Oh, funny story. Uh, turns out Phantom Warriors are supposed to have damage immunity cold. Oh, all, I was... All beans. <laughs> that, hey, at least I'm not the only one that makes those mistakes. <laughs> A bunch of undead suddenly start rising up from the ground. They're like, oh, no, wait, that I, doesn't do damage. I'm not no, mean enough me to do that. Mistake. But, you know. Anyway. Uh, so, perfectly. how is that one looking? Not so good. He, he looks kind of like he just lost two thirds of his health, and the other <laughs> guy looks like he just took a lightning bolt to the face. Okay. I've done that like four times in his campaign, and uh, he's he definitely doesn't want to take another one. That's uh, as for sure. Then says, "Want to try again?" He's like, uh, "Yes, I, I would very much like to kill you before taking another one of those." <laughs> You won't get oh, I thought chance. you were gonna like for a second. I thought you were gonna pull like an action surge out of your ass. I was like, "What?" <laughs> she's got Maybe the was a fighter all along, even though she's always been a blade dancer. Um, she's not even a blade dancer. She is kind of a blade dancer. She's like an. She's really blade. not. Is not a yeah. fan of having monsters near Thocan. Um. Where is my button? Uh, she 
Uh, actually, I'm gonna ask again. How is this one looking? The one that she is on? He's gotta be <laughs> fucked up. I mean, it looks what, uh, The one that she is on looks perfectly okay-ish. Really? Okay. I hit him um, with a level one smite, didn't I? Yeah, I mean, you took half his health, but, you know. Oh, yeah, okay. That's all I had said was half. I'll shut up. Mimi is gonna... Oh. Oh, wait, no, that first one totally gets the advantage, because she is on it, and <laughs> I was Eldritch Blasting them. So, your first one still misses. Oh. Second but one does not. Oh, one what? Why is she, she should totally be there? No, wait. Oh, Mimi's over there. Yeah. Sorry. Wrong place. Mimi is stepping forward um, Words with a hand difficult. on her sickle. And I guess she is now back on her shoulder. Because thing. And that's her turn. Okay. Okay. All of those phantom friends. Scooby-Doo and the mystery of the phantom friends. <laughs> Scooby -Doo. I, for a moment, you just cut out at phantom, so I thought you said menace. <laughs> 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 Nobody ever brings that up. <laughs> Nobody suspects the Phantom Menace. Especially not someone at my age range. When you're at 30, you're like, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, it's, it's the Phantom Warrior's turns. Okay. <laughs> See, I was expecting them to be dead by now because, yeah. The, well, the first one's like, you know what? Why won't this Ismark guy just stay dead? Oh, no. He's going to try to punch him again. Leave him alone. Oh, God, that one hits. <laughs> and he's back down. So is he on? He's yeah. back down. <laughs> God what's damn it, Ismark. What's his max HP anyway? 58? Like 50, he just... yeah, he's fine. He's fine. Then the next one is like, uh, this, this Mimi chick is really getting on my nerves. And I totally oh, attacked I Ismark with the wrong creature, so ignore that last turn. Oh. My okay. bad. Oh, yeah. He goes back down anyway. Okay. <laughs> and takes two death saves. Failures. Oh. Okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, and then Mimi is getting yeah. chopped at. Um, so 24 and 15. Okay. She's not looking very good. Oh, shit, Ismark might die. He's got to make his death saving throw oh, on his turn or he's fucking oh, dead. Oh, damn, he does. And then this one is going to go over shit. to uh, Esmeralda and is like, um, the other shield. person I was trying to stab ran away. She's but I'm apparently a, very bad at this. She's got a 22 armor class this turn. Who's got 22? Esmeralda does. Okay. Wait. Alright. Does she have multi attack defense? No, she's casting shield. Oh, that's good. Wow. That's a charisma save. I know, he has plus zero. Matter. Yeah, that's why oh, I used okay. it. I see. He's got the plus two from the aura, doesn't he? He well, would, but it's, it doesn't count on death saves. All right. Mm -hmm. I would count that it does. Really? All right. I mean, it's a save. Oh well, yeah, it is yeah. a save. So yeah. I was about to spew out so a bunch of e he's rounds. Still at, he's still at one and two. Oh, not <laughs> it's Soken's turn. Okay. Um. I guess we'll just take a couple of swings at this boy. That boy over there. <laughs> The boy in range. Yeesh. All right, you deal some damage. You, you cook one of some of his bacon. All right, Nakere, there are a number of injured targets. Yeah, some of which are even enemies. Um. <laughs> We're going all logic. 
I'm going in. I'm giving Ismark a healing potion. Chug yeah, it down his throat. Oh, okay. Like an action? Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Right up in the morning. Well, yeah, if you just throw one at him, he can't do anything because he's oh, unconscious. Oh, it's a trivia. like, my item. Yeah, 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 just throw at him. Just does, like, chest. just does 1d4 damage from budgeting. He just dies. <laughs> it's 2d4 plus 4, right? Yeah. Plus 2. Uh, two Unfortunately, plus if two. that... But, yeah. So yeah, that was a good call because if that Revenant sense. attacked him, he was dead. Okay, Ismark is like, oh, gosh. Uh, sorry. Oh, so sorry. Uh, I'm... I can't pull him away. God damn it. Uh, the shield guardian's just gonna keep bashing at the revenant. That's some trouble. Okay. Okay. Do a lot of damage. You break a lot of bones this time. Uh, he does not look so good. The other revenant decides that he wants to try to punch Thokan. He's like, you know what? Fuck swords. Swords are lame. Do they have to, um... Can they... So if a target is a creature against which the Revenant has sworn vengeance... Neither of them hit, I'm just curious. Uh, can they do that against more than one target? They can... I think so, because they've kind of sworn vengeance against your whole little group. Okay. Yeah, I was I was just curious. And Strahd. Strahd's the other target. Uh, so... Why aren't you killing Strahd, damn it? Because he just comes back to life, you fucking nitwit. Uh, Got him. I guess I move over, and uh, this is Barovia. Hopelessness and despair abound. I want to. I don't. I just want to make sure we get this over with. So I'm going to haste myself, and then take okay. another mm -hmm. action to green flame blade these friends right here. Uh, you, you cannot green flame blade. People. You can't green flame blade with uh, hasted action. Okay, I will attack then. Uh, but yeah. Just a moment. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we can use the 22, so just roll your attack for the damage. Alright, well, I, I pull out a second sword. <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh, wait, one more, one more. I have two attacks, and I'm using an offhand weapon. Uh, no. Four, six, uh... All right, that's actually exactly enough to chop up the the phantom. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, ah, bullshit. You wouldn't interrupt a duel, would you? And then these two longbow dudes are like, what if we just shot that girl over there? And they're like, I don't know, man. We tried this before. Oh, gosh. And then they're both uh, like, yeah, oh, no, gosh. actually, this time we will do it. Um, uh, okay, two. So is that 16 eight. damage coming into you, or is that, oh, I see. That's actually two, three hits, eight, isn't eight. it? Um, so she has two hit points left. <laughs> uh, everything's fine. Wait, what's yeah. the what's the thing Hibiki says? I'll tell you later. All right, Einar, finish that <laughs> revenant. Hi. Yeah, I'm, I think One I'm gonna try. One of the revenants it. goes up in flames. The nice. only one, right? Oh, actually, I don't think he was supposed to. Whoops. You bastard, interrupting my duel. Never mind. Sorry. I was gonna say, I, I, was it the I, I other one for just like some unknown reason? <laughs> it's just like ah, <laughs> catches on fire. <laughs> oh no, I'm finally going to hell. <laughs> right. uh, I should not have deleted him. Whoops. That happens to me all the time. Right. That one's right before. Uh, I know Esmeralda. exactly where it is. All right, go ahead. Einar. We. Oui. Uh, he does fall on the ground though. And seems to be unconscious. The revenant. Yeah, right, so I'm just mm -hmm. gonna. Uh, I mean, so I'm just gonna reckless attack power strike this boy right next to me. Then, well, below mm -hmm. me. Uh oh. Whoop. That's not a hit. Uh, that's a hit. Uh -oh. That's not a hit. Oh wait, no, because it's reckless. It Twenty. 
Well, no. If he did power strike, it's minus Oh, wait, five. 14. Yes, that is actually a hit. Nice. Barely, but you know. Oh. Which one is prone? The one on the left. You bastards interrupting the duel. 37? Or am I stupid? I think that's right. Yeah, 37. 20 damage. 17. Yep. All right. Uh, this one's not looking too handsome. The one on the left. Well, he sort of his uh, undead eyes open up again. He stands up. He's like, "Wow, whew, that was wow. That was. Uh, I'm gonna punch you in the face, lady. I blame yeah. you for this." Um. Oh. Good night. Good night, oh, Good night Esmeralda. <laughs> Uh, no. No? What's her AC now? 22? Um, oh wait, I screwed that up. Uh, oh no, I broke something. What was her ha- she was- Oh wait, yeah, you said she- you said she had shielded, so she has 22 AC, so the first one still hits. Oh, they both still hit, um, they, uh- <laughs> Oh, you're right. Yeah. It's whatever, minus 25. Uh, she's still up, is the important part. Oh, uh, oh, actually, <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. All right, looks like I'm stepping in here. She's non-conscious now. Death save, please. Um, yeah. Okay. Looks like she's down. All right, she's okay for now. And it's Mimi's turn. Um, can you do the math to see if she's also taken two? basic death saves. Okay, how much did she have? She had 32. She had 32? Okay. Yeah. Uh, she should be fine. 24, 28. Yeah, she's fine. Mimi, uh, Mimi is chill touching the, uh, this thing on, uh, on its throat. She's Which thing? squeeze the life. Sorry, she's chill touching the, in front of you? the okay. life out of I think there's a uh, a big black raven claw, um, or a Hufflepuff. This, <laughs> this big black eagle claw, because eagles are the symbol of raven claw for some fucking reason, uh, reaches no. out. It it touches the phantom warrior. The phantom warrior looks unfazed. He's like, wow. is that all? frowny face from Emia. <laughs> and then this 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 uh, this phantom is like, why won't you die? Because I saved him. <laughs> uh, yep, that hits. <laughs> <laughs> and back down is Mark goes. God. The worst part about this is this is every six seconds. So in these six <laughs> seconds, not only does he go down, but he, oh, he, he wakes up and then back up yet. back out again. <laughs> oh, I was supposed to holy water. Oh, actually, both of those hit because uh, he's not pr- prone still, so he's taking a, right. a death failure too. Oh, oh. my god! <laughs> Stop being <laughs> bad, bad damn it! Fate. <laughs> and this uh, this phantom warrior is this, this one had passed the thing to hit Mimi, right? I think so. I think yeah, it did. they they passed three rounds ago. Um, okay. okay, so she doesn't take two fires at least. She is oh, grounded wait, Mimi, though. Mimi was down. No, she's no. Mimi's I... down now. She okay, she okay. was hit by the last one, and she had two hit points left. Okay, so she oh, okay. is now she's down. Yep. All right. It's Mark. Oh boy. Sheer force of (laughs) will. Ignore that second one. Oh yeah. It's okay. You did it. He's not dead yet. I've got 3D dice on and a one popped up. I was like, ooh. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to try to take two swings at this guy because if I move, he's gonna try to attack me. I love how their charisma saves. But instead of doing that, I'm going to take the attack of opportunity. I'm going to move on top of Mimi and give her a potion of healing. 
Oh, good. You're, <gasps> you're stopping me from having to make these moral decisions with my alignment. <laughs> <laughs> what, what type did you give me? Did you give me a 2d4 plus 2 when you handed it to uh, me? It was 2d4 plus 2. Oh, gosh. That's 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 actually um, almost poetic. Yep. I, like, notice it sticking out of my shirt pocket. I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, hi. Mimi, take this. <laughs> 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 she must have given it to me because she knew she needed it. <laughs> uh, and, uh, I don't have a bonus action, so that'll be it for me. Wait, does Thou Can get to roll an extra 1d20 because being helped by Chia for the health? I don't think so. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No. I don't, I don't think that's how this works. <laughs> it's not quite how this works. Roll a potion save. Okay. <laughs> Nakare, help save us. <laughs> yeah. Shield, shield, golem, shield guardian is getting pissed off at the revenant for not dying. You could kill the other thing that's really low health. That's true. <laughs> He's killing the revenant. <laughs> Uh, once again, you knock the revenant down, and it seems to go unconscious. <laughs> All right. Oh man, both um, my characters fell in the same turn, failing their duels. As oh, no. it is my turn, I'm yep. just gonna toss some uh, some holy water on that guy. <laughs> <laughs> which uh, which guy? The guy that's down. <laughs> Dunk some oh, you, crit, you crit, you crit, dunk some holy water on it. Oh well, no, it's a ranged attack, right? Um, so it's a ranged crit. attack, so it would be disadvantaged, but I believe it does damage to undead, right? Is that how it works? The holy water? I think so, yeah. yeah. Okay. You max the damage on that. Okay. You splash him with holy water, his flesh burns away, and Mimi, you if you were... Oh, I guess you are conscious. You see his soul floating away. It's like the um, first thing you see when you wake up, like, huh. He's like, fuck right. you! I kind of... Yeah. I'm, Buddy. like, still <laughs> vibrating from haste, so I'm, like, uh... He's... Oh, wait, it's that other... <laughs> thing that she, uh, yeah, the other thing that turn. Yep. He's like, hey, wait, there's a ranger there. He's got holy water. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck him up. Hi there. Uh, you take an attack of opportunity for my honor? No, nice, he's still within, still within the threat range. That is the one downside to it. No, he's not. I'm what? ten up in the air. I'm yeah. enough to get the guy who's above well, me. Well, I don't think that matters in five E. Height technically doesn't matter if you're moving a distance. Like they they didn't do the trick. I'm pretty sure. We just had the same problem in my Thursday yeah. game. They didn't. They didn't do the trick for that. Yeah, no, they didn't they, do the. They trick. stopped in four E. Actually, they they. Yeah. Um, All right. Well, the so he's still one, within range of you. The second one hits. Okay. Bagaria. So what? What's that forty-six damage look like? Yeah, I just had to answer a text. There you go. Oh, that's not that bad. Flavor Town. Uh. All right. So now, still vibrating, I'm kind of looking between Ismark and looking between Ismeralda. Both are value to me, valuable to me as tools to escape. And I'm told that Ismark is the chosen one, although he's not really <laughs> seeming like it right now. So I'm gonna, he's also the one who's more heavily bleeding. <laughs> so can go ahead and uh, drop a cure from your from my ring onto that one. And then I'm going to move please. over and start whacking on the police. Yeah, you will. Uh, just hit Don't this whack one. off on Ismark. Seven. <laughs> You don't own me. Okay, you you managed to scratch him a bit. Yay, I'm good at He's fighting. He's like, oh, oh is, is, is that all? I, I thought I was in trouble. I would have hasted Thokan if I wasn't evil. Um, all right, that's my turn. And then the two comically bad archers are like, oh, what do we do now? What do we do? We could, we could shoot that girl. She's back up. We could shoot that guy. He's back up. Well, I guess oh, he's still on the ground. Yeah. They both... They both hey, wait. Let's shoot that other guy with the bow. 
He Wait, is what? showing us up. I don't <laughs> no, he yes, he is. <laughs> uh, two damage, uh, god damn! I don't even know if that works. They, they literally only have a plus two to hit, okay? Well, don't you, bully the Phantom Warriors. Aren't you wearing medium armor? You should. You're like a dex. Uh, no, oh. I am still wearing leather armor. Oh. Too bad you can't loot that half plate. Unless you can. But and That half plate is fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Still better than we, we can buy some like, stuff probably after this. Yeah, you probably could. Casimir is like, okay, I, I know I failed to kill that one that one guy last time, but I'm I'm gonna succeed this time. I I, I really I feel. Who me and Coach believe in me? One. See, see, I did it. I torched him. Whoosh. He's like, see, fire, fire is good. Fire. Ooh. I'm like screaming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see this bolt of fire come by and just immolate something. I'm like, that was too close. I'm like, too close, too, too close. close. <laughs> bad touch, bad touch. It is the Einar's turn. Dead Einar. Well, see, see, since he is technically still in range. Reckless attack on power strike, the usual stuff. So the Revenant, that is. The squishy yeah, one. I, I assumed you were going for like the Revenant and not your friends. Oh, yeah. no, no, you know, you're really frustrated with his work situation. I know it's tempting. Okay, so that one was the power. Two hits. The second and third. Okay. Uh, yeah, he goes unconscious. From the first one or the second, or with both? With both. Okay. He falls to the ground. He's, he's like he's he's t he's dropping some Z's. I'm gonna lazily float over there. <laughs> you you float lazily. I look up and I'm like, you've changed. <laughs> <laughs> we used to be cool. Uh, Esmeralda, I guess, has to save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, which is a success. Oh, Why am I good, Eve? Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait a second. <laughs> Out of the abyss of death. Um, meanwhile, oh, Mimi doesn't have to save. Nope. Um, yeah, Mimi's fine. Mimi is stands up from her headache and stu uh, stutch stuff. Uh, from her headache and stuff, and she Eldritch Blasts with Ravens, this thing. Well, it, she Eldritch Blasts that one once, and does it again, because, actually, there's no reason not to. Unless she uh, is gonna the help the as your As your two Eldritch Bolts fly into it, it explodes in a little puff of ethereal confetti. And you also have um, to move, because you... There you go. She she kneels forward with oh wait it's it's not a corpse never mind she just stumbles forward. It, it is are you done dying is Mark are you good? It's like I, I, I think I'm okay. Uh, I'm I'm actually gonna just tell you that he's gonna move over here and just drag Esmeralda off a few feet. Does he disengage, I'm assuming? Well, the other guy's unconscious. He doesn't need to. Oh, nice. Okay. okay. There's guys at the bottom. <laughs> oh, yeah, go for the guys that are on the bottom, damn it. Shut Chase up! Them. <laughs> I'm gonna... Hit him while they're down. Yeah, I'm gonna kill this guy, I guess. <laughs> Big damn heroes. Bye bye, guy. Uh, yeah, he uh, he explodes. <laughs> Michael Bay like explodes. All, all the little bits that he explodes into, yeah, they they just kind of burn. Barbecue bones. You've got the bow. You kill the ones with the bow. I'm about to. Good. 
Uh, I switched my hunter's mark to this one. And I'm gonna fire my bow. Wow. Hey, you gotta roll a one sometimes. It's on the dice. Yeah. All right. You, you shoot him. Your arrow partially lodges in him. Also, probably Colossus Slayer. He probably got hit with that cone of cold once upon a time. He's immune to cold. Oh. Yeah. Uh, then the shield guardian is going up to the other one. There you go. <laughs> and the the shield is punching him in the face. But, miss it. Yeah, he nimbly dodges. Alright. Uh, I guess since I move at a ridiculous pace, I'm gonna move on down. And I'm just gonna start well, I'll green flame blade this one, and then I'll just do regular attacks. Uh, he's hacking, he's whacking, smacking. If I... Uh, cool. Then they still okay. up, right? Yep. It's pretty effective, though. One. Wait. Oh, yeah, because I don't get to add my... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's... That's that's the stuff. And then on their turn, they're like, you know, existence is meaningless anyway. And they dissipate. <laughs> <laughs> no! I'm gonna rush over to uh, Esmeralda. Mimi is, if given the chance, gonna... Well, okay, Chia, if given the chance, is going to spare Esmeralda. Okay. Yeah, that works. Jeez, that was fucked up. Uh, yeah. Did you see how hard that guy hit me and I felt it was like... <sighs> I was on the ground yeah. and they were all like... <laughs> 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 oh, that's, that was ugly. Yeah. I really like Fokan's interpretation of all this. And Ismark, you uh, died like five times. Yeah, you were. Like, <laughs> you got up and you were down. And you were up and then you were He's down. He's like, it's up. it's not my fault. They were spawn camping me. I I I I'm gonna I'm gonna look over. It's like you owe me. I didn't do this for free. <laughs> You hold out He's like, that, that That seems a little unfair. No, you're That's buying that. You're you buying see that these eyes? Potion retail. That's you his, see these eyes? Of his claw now. It means I don't care. I'm going to uh, carry Esmeralda over to Alarad. And... He's like, look, I'll, I'll, I'll give you like a village in Barovia if you want. Like, I'm a, okay uh, like this. not a village, but like, um, the, 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 what, do you, what do you call it? House. That's what he. That's what he. An entire load of houses. I will take the house. Half of my village is abandoned. Vampires. Yeah, I'm gonna carry Esmeralda over to Alarad. You know that thing in your ring. Yeah. Fix it. I don't have any more. I used all the juice. It's gone. I like look at you and I look at the ring and I'm super confused. I'm like, it, <laughs> I point to Nakora. I'm like, it's out of arrows. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not out of arrows. Who told you that? Oh, yeah. got, <laughs> he, has, he has arrows. I, I can see an arrow. <laughs> um, all right. I look. Let's uh, put her in the carriage. Uh, she just needs to sleep it off. Sleep it off. Mimi's gonna head to the carriage and try to take a reading for Esmeralda. Uh, okay. Um. To all so that remnant had a really cool sword on him. Oh yeah. Yeah, you, you find a plus two great sword. Hey, hey, Bone Man, you want it? Hey, is that is that? Uh, am I the bony? Yeah, I mean yeah, you can. Yes. Have I have I become the bones? Well, you do have bone wings. <laughs> you can at least use it against <laughs> resistant creatures. Bones. Yeah. 
It's a plus two sword. I mean, you can do everything except your polearm thing with yeah, it. Yeah, and, so. and reach. And, and if you're trying to keep your magic item count down, I'm pretty sure we're all pretty far ahead of you. Otherwise, Nako... No, 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 I'm, I'm not, I don't have a problem with getting it. I'm, I have a I'm pretty sure I've prepared well for it enough. Butt. Butt. <laughs> because that's how often I'm going to fucking use it. No, that's fine. I'm going to I'm gonna go for it. I, what, are, what are you um, yeah. discussing? Oh, that great sword. The, no, just getting the, the great sword. Get that out of the way. I've given up on using both perks. I'm just going to take it as a loss and be done with it. Uh, Wait, don't you still get your great weapon thing with that great sword? No, I'm, I mean in terms of using both of them. Yeah, it's, it was a stupid idea to take both. Eh, it's all good. The point is, after this campaign, it'll still be super useful on the character, but if you get an opportunity to get a plus two greatsword... Oh, no, yeah, no, that's good. And you after the camp, well, I'm not going to use this guy anymore. That that missing two strength is just painful. Oh. Mm. It's, it's, I have 16 strength at this level with two perks. It's like... Yeah. Okay. I mean, there's always... I, I don't know, I think Claire and I have some ideas, but there's other games too. You just, you're gonna cap out at 10 probably here, and then there's other stuff we can do afterwards, you know? There's tier... Like the tier swamp! Three. We can go to the swamp. Uh, sure. Just like that. Anyway, we got... We somehow... <laughs> I was lost in thought, right. and you just said the swamp. I was really confused. Uh, I'm gonna pick up Esmeralda. I'm gonna put her in the carriage, and then I'm gonna pick up Mimi and put her also in the carriage, and I'm gonna cover them up with a blanket and be like, "You stay there." Mimi's <laughs> conscious though, and she's doing cards. Actually, she's it's pretty okay. less stable, but you know, you could do the cards once I shut the flap. Is Mark as long as I like, assume you're asleep. Jealously. <laughs> oh um. shit. <laughs> Yeah, you look fucked up. Uh, so... I guess we... Are we ready, guys? Do we need to go... We can't go to Velaki and gear up anyway. We'll probably have to send somebody all the way to... What's it called? Uh, I mean, you could probably do Velaki without me. Yeah. Well, the only thing would be useful... I could wait well, outside. A pile of... The other thing potions. missing is armor. Yeah, peeling yeah. potions and armor for a uh, neck. He's just still using bloody leather. Can you use medium? Yeah, yeah. of course. He's yeah. a ranger. Oh, yeah. dang, so you can give yourself a half plate. Well, he wants to keep his stealth. I don't know. I think he'll need breastplate. But, uh, whichever I mean, gives you the stealth stuff. I mean, if I remember correctly, a breastplate is like 400 gold, and last time you guys got 3,400 gold. <laughs> so, you know... <laughs> That, that's what I say. We need we need to make our our last purchases, get piles, and then we go. Okay, so let's uh, let's all go shopping really quick in uh, Erasno, <laughs> and. Uh... Well, Erasno that's what I don't understand. Is if the breastplate gives me fourteen plus two maximum my dex, I already have sixteen armor class. From what? From just leather plus my dexterity modifier. Oh, yeah. that gets studded. Because yeah. um, uh, there's no way that they would make it so you can get maximum out of the, yeah, the lowest yeah, you can get. There's no way. No, I, I actually I am wearing studded leather. Uh, okay. Never mind then. Twelve. Yeah. yeah. No, that's how I'm getting sixteen. I'm at max. Should we call it a long rest at the caravan and take a short break? Yes. Sure. We can, because I Wonderful think... Wonderful call. Yeah, good. We'll be back. I think. Okay. BRB, five minutes. Um, oh, right. I need water. <laughs> Uh, 
I remembered. A bit. Oh, there is an Irish. A wild Irish appears. I will catch you in a Pokeball and then keep you in the PC for the rest of your life. I'm like a Snorlax, I just like sleep in front of a bridge. <laughs> Esmeralda shows up and plays a flute. Yeah. You wake oh. up. And then walk two feet, and then fall back asleep. Right? What an awful life a Snorlax has. Like, it wakes up because somebody wants to beat its ass, then it spends the rest of its life in a Pokeball. I mean... I don't know. Having... Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucked up. That fight took way longer than it should have. Oh yeah, that was quite the the battle. Our NPCs took an ass whooping. <laughs> Except for Elf Boy. Mimi and Esmeralda fell in the same turn. Yeah, that was fucked. I feel like the stuff that's going on right now is a little bit mirroring. Um, because they were, they were both dueling someone, and they, yeah. they got, actually, Mimi's didn't get taken away from her, uh, though Can was able to intervene and make it so that it wasn't a problem, um, but Esmeralda's fighting partner killed her, <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. She's probably going to be out for a while. <laughs> yeah, without any kind of fucking healing, we're just... We are spent. Because we didn't get a long rest before we left. I didn't get my spell slots back, so I had to stop smiting at the one point. It was some shit. <laughs> oh, um... I was going to use holy water, but then I realized that Esmeralda's weapons are actually much more effective than the holy water. Yeah, she's pretty good. Um, and Mimi's holy water sucks. I'm glad you guys keep remembering holy water. I keep forgetting it. You can borrow it. I, like, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to use an action to throw holy water, so... Mm. 
we didn't have to go through those skull monsters also that that didn't get holy watered. Oh yeah, flaming skulls or whatever. Forgot about those boys. Yeah, All right, well, the ones so you didn't. Mimi. Oh, the ones you didn't holy water. Uh, they hang out in that big hole in the ground. So as long as you don't oh, go yeah, over there, there's... like poking them or making loud noises, they just hang out down there. Yeah, and we'd already been down there for the. Uh, yeah. So fucking fall of our party's <laughs> alignment. <laughs> The first time our whole party was like, let's be monsters! Let's be <laughs> evil! Uh, so on a scale of uh, meh to I, uh, you are dead to me, how disappointed is Thokam? <clears throat> well, unfortunately, the fight that just took place kind of erases all of that. It's It's the kind of thing where he can only really be mad about it until there's a more present danger. It's it's like whenever the ghouls dropped in and he was just playing dice because he, he wanted to try to make a point. <laughs> and then when the ghouls showed up, it was like, oh, okay, never mind. Like, crack goes the neck. It's game time. Like, that's, he's, you know, if if the character has low oh, intelligence, I have to kind of keep it that way. Crisis. Yeah, just... Oh, that was a shitty Thokan voice. I thought crushing the dice was a nice touch, though. If I'll, I'll uh, give myself totally. a pat on the back for that. <laughs> last? Oh, it's just uh, an hour. How long does what? A Phantom Steed only lasts an hour, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. yeah. I really wish that you could level up uh, in in between the session. That'd be great. <laughs> what? I... I'm. I guarantee you, off of that last fight, I leveled up. Probably. Oh, but, you mean uh, in the middle of the session? Yeah. I also oh. don't think you're going to run into much combat before the end of the session because I think we're just going to sort of uh, role play our way to the castle. You know, give you a suitably dramatic opening and description, oh, I'm here. Okay. and then we'll probably end with y'all entering the castle. Okay. Yeah, that's true. I mean. 40 minutes, 39 minutes from now, that's four hours, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, Claire needs her DM XP for the four hours. Oh, did I sh I, I did already show every pic everybody pictures of mm -hmm. my bear and my octopus. Yes. Um, oh, yeah, I, oh, I... So, I fucked up by skipping Tomb last week because now I have to miss it this week. And I didn't have to miss it last week. Oh, oh I just no. was tired. But oh. yeah, now I, I have to miss it this week. My cousin oh, just had a baby, so we're all getting get to together. Become immortal. No. Oh, that's hella cute. Yeah, cousin just had a baby, so we're all kind of getting together, and I'd feel bad if I fucking skipped it, so. Yeah. No, have, have fun with yeah, the dare baby. Fun. The worst part no, is I'm sorry, so it's not like you missed anything. Baby. Sorry, guys, Extremely I'm... breaking. I unmuted everything like on the stream except the Discord again. So here I am. Eh, 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 eh. It's okay. Welcome we're back. just talking about babies and stuff. Yeah, Welcome I heard, back, I heard, Carter. I heard some of the baby stuff. I heard that, you know, you guys wanted to just kind of get everything set up for a dramatic entrance. Um, I bought ten healing potions. If we are shopping, ten. <laughs> ten of them. It won't be enough. Can I get 10 to... I can't go into the city, but I'll give you money. I mean, we're just buying them from the Vistani or something, so sure. Oh, okay. Oh, man, you can buy them from Esmeralda. She's your, um... She's traveling... Like, she's like my hookup. She's my drug she's dealer. She's like, no, you blew up my wagon. Yeah, I always had that question. What happened to your master? Wasn't there supposed to be, like... A, a mission that you had for us with that? She's like, well, he'll probably turn up. That that seems like the sort of thing he would do. I see. Probably. As a corpse or otherwise. Uh, would, would he be turning up and trying to kill us? She's like, I, I don't see why he would. He's a good person. He slays monsters. Um, your recent developments notwithstanding, uh, I'm, I'm sure you'd get along with him. I mean, I too uh, am a monster hunter. 
All right, what else? What else do I need? I think, I mean, that's it. Just 10 healing potions. <laughs> Same, I'll take 10 as well. God bless. Yeah, me too. Um, yeah, Mimi as well. I mean, we've got, okay. what, that's a thousand gold, right? No, that's... No, that's 500 gold. Okay, whoopsie. I'd be like, God Silly dang. Spencer. You know, I'm never going to get math. My motto is math not even once. <laughs> okay, so... We're... This feels pretty epic. We, uh... We're wandering through Barovia, wondering if this is going to be our last time seeing this gloomy, dark place. Probably. Um... I mean, it's not like you guys are planning to leave, right? Oh, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Do we, do we talk about what we're doing, or do we all just I mean, kind of assume? Uh, Alarad is like, I wasn't there when you guys spoke to Madam Ava, but I heard that there was some sort of prophecy or something where we we're supposed to free the land or something. I don't know. I don't know if I'm involved in that. I'm just kind of here. Um, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I talked to Madame Ava. Uh, she said that you're totally part of the prophecy. Um, yeah, Nate Gray just got to run Gray, through Death House Part 2, Electric Boogaloo. And uh, get aged. Mm -hmm. Nate Five Gray is totally uninvolved in the prophecy, though. Who is? Uh, you. you. Oh. Wow. Ha! Ah! My shield um, gold, my shield. I call. I want to call him a golem. My shield. Gold. I, I just assume that's what he is, but it's his shield guardian. He literally <laughs> just starts pound like doing the intimidation pound the fist, with steam coming out the arms. <laughs> like he's she, ready to fight. <laughs> she did mention a big, burly guy, at the at, a, uh, at an electric temple. So. Maybe that's that's what he what she was referring to. I mean, to. he he fits the bill. Look at him; he's fucking huge. <laughs> so, uh, but, all right. Is there anything so, anybody has to say what, before we do what are this? We, or? What are we doing? Like, I know, I know, we haven't exactly uh, been getting along as a team always, uh, and that's fine. I mean, I think that you know we're just in it to get out of here but i need to make sure that even if i don't trust you guys that you have my back i'm gonna look you straight in the eyes like i didn't come here on purpose i wandered through the forest and i found this place but this place needs me i'm killing the biggest baddest fucking vampire in the land i'm ready I well mean, did they say if we kill him he's just gonna come back not in sunlight Eh. We'll have to eh. see. I look, at, I look at you confused. <laughs> we'll have to see. Your sword. I Where's look up at the sun. I'm like, he's, he's cloudy. And we're gonna be inside. Uh, it's okay. Uh. It's okay. It's okay. Um. <laughs> yeah. So we. I imagine. I I just have the shield guardian just pat you on the head. Ow. <laughs> So we uh, wander past the village of Barovia, unless there's anything that happens on the way. Are we doing random encounters <laughs> with our level eight characters? <laughs> um, oh look, uh, Skyrim um, runs before you. <laughs> should we be on the map? Yeah, in a moment. My mouse is being weird. I mean. Yeah, I can't think of anything else I need to do. I mean, there are some things I need to resolve. I still am full of evil ice magic. I can't seem to get rid of it because everything's undead. Uh, you also don't seem to be trying to get rid of it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not... Why would you want to be rid of it? You seem, you seem pretty content with being an evil ice man. Oh, no, I am. I This power is unlimited. I don't think you understand. I'm not saying there's a limit to my ice. That was just, that was just fearful thinking. 
I could use as many of these as I want. Forever. Um... This is... this like... It seems as if you're just trying to assure yourself that that's true. Yeah, I... No, I can't go back to just being a normal wizard. Are you kidding me? Freaking normies. We're basically gods. If anybody knows the reference. Nope. Is that... Uh... That movie... <laughs> no, it's it's a, it's a critical role reference that oh. Druid was basically gods and she jumped off a cliff and turned into a goldfish and then died outright from <sighs> impact damage. I nice. did hear about that. Yeah. <laughs> the clip is fucking brilliant. <laughs> They're like level 20, they've been playing the campaign for five years and she's the only character who didn't die and that's how she died. <laughs> That's dishonorable right there. <laughs> That's hilarious. Where the fuck are we? Um, or are we the here. creeping spider horse? Or yeah. are we Esmeralda? I think we're Esmeralda, but... Um, but that's just because Esmeralda's better than you. This creepy spider monster. Look, the creepy spider monster is clearly more iconic. You know yeah, what? I guess, I guess that's true. I should kill. You know it. what? It's it's just gonna come back. <laughs> there you go. That's how I feel about your creepy spider monster. Okay, which of these serves as the best introduction to Castle Ravenloft? Because it's a it's a the really spookiest. big, really imposing structure. Are you talking, are you looking for music, or what are you looking for? No, no, there's a whole bunch of pictures and maps. Okay. I'm going to put on my music then. Yes, by all means, uh, listen to the ominous music linked to you by Jimbo. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, uh, I'll find a good one. Mm-hmm. That's a- Lovely I just drawing. have the dumb yeah, pretzel so. rock station on right now because it's royalty free. Oh baby! <laughs> oh baby! That's where the real quality is. I know. That's what this. If anybody ever stopped in to listen, they'd be like, "Man, this sucks." I'm like, "I know. I have to listen to it the whole time." I probably could loop it in to the stream without it going through my headphones, but. Alright, well... Just for a, um... Just so we know how stuff is gonna work. Are we going to get a long rest before we reach... Yes, it it takes you a couple days. days, So you'll have your long rest. And our soundtrack for users who aren't streaming is now in Discord. This this scene. This combat fight. So good. Beautiful. The song is incredible. Castle Ravenloft. I see nothing. <laughs> yeah, you don't see anything right now. Oh, uh, we can move our tokens on or set a, the rally point if we have one. No, we don't. Uh, basically, the leftmost edge is where you should be. The left edge? And then what sort of, me? yeah, the leftmost edge on the middle. I got a middle something for this map. This map is huge, by the way. Yeah, I was gonna say, shit, with dynamic lighting, it just looks like a whole lot of nothing. Oh, jeez, I've never seen this with tokens on it before. Oh, my baby again! <laughs> I don't know. Oh, baby, it's small! Oh, god, map, please just render. Render. <laughs> Miniature smite. Behold, Castle Ravenloft! The birds included. Someone just... Oh, Oh, it's Chia. Uh, And an evil raven. Chia has pink eye. (laughs) Chia should stop sniffing other birds' butts. 
That's Can not you make nice. me not a baby? Can no. you make me right, be stunning. able to see Mimi and Esmeralda? Soon. Frowny face. Yeah, we need to get them NPCs in here. Do we? I guess Ismark is healthy nope. again. Nope, I'm just getting myself in trouble now. Somebody has to set off the traps. Oh, hey guys, look! Uh, oh, hey, what's this straight down to here? <laughs> Bang. Um, what part of the map are you on? Uh, okay. Far left, pretty much dead side. Oh, I, I see where you just pinged. Oh, hey, no, no. I'm a little boy. <laughs> oh, that thing is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I like how there's two is marks as well. <laughs> oh, my my stuff is was just so busted. Awesome. All right, we've got Dokan glow. <laughs> oh Jesus, I I wasn't looking and I saw the shield guardian. I was like, not that big. <laughs> Where'd you go? There you are. That's uh, that's Thokan's mega power armor. <laughs> and all forms the Thokan, head. Get in the robot. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! I'm like the horn on a unicorn. Let's... Um, during that long rest, uh, did I'm spacing out on what her uh, EXP or something? No, our wizard, not not Alarad, the other guy, uh, Casimir. Casimir. Did uh, can Casimir put another one of his cold spells into the shield glow? Oh, yeah, sure. I can. I can do one too, but I guess yeah, Casimir can. Because who cares? <laughs> Um, All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna request to ride out front when we're ready to go. That's fine. You gotta <laughs> look all heroic and stuff. Yeah, we're we're gonna have a moment, whether you want to or not. God damn it! So before everyone goes into the castle, I want you to think about like what your marching order is going to be going forward. Um. Because you know, there's there's a lot of shenanigans that can occur. In I pat the, the shield Raven golem lost. on the shoulder very hard. Mimi likes to go okay, first. do you you do know that I control the shield guardian? Yeah. <laughs> he still likes can, people. Ah! Can Mimi ride the robot? <laughs> can I ride giant the robot. giant robot, please? No. Only I ride the giant robot. As it picks me up and puts me on its shoulder, and I stand okay. with with like one one knee, and I'm just like with the bow in the other hand, charge! So Einar is now greatsword Einar. Oh, is Rob back? Oh, Rob is back. Yeah, he's here. He's just gay. So the um, marching order. How does lar how do large creatures work? It's like. Not every square can be occupied by a smaller creature, can it? Um, I mean, typically a smaller creature can't move into a larger creature's square. Okay, yeah, I wasn't sure because it was like, it was kind of encroaching on squares during the last fight, so I thought I got that Yeah, wrong. I mean, that was kind of a press. And, oh, that's fine. I just, I, yeah. I thought I had the rule wrong. No. Normally you can't. Um, Usually with things like horses, we make a bit of an exception just because horses are like longer rather than just big. Uh, yeah, I, I should be able to make it to Dungeon World tomorrow. Okay. About marching order. Um, Can I make a suggestion? Sure. Sure. Uh, Gollum, Thokan, Esmeralda, 
uh, then we would fill in our uh, well, probably our barbarian, right? What you you have yeah. faster movement speed now, right? Yeah, fifty now. Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah. By the way, uh, Einar, I'm pairing up my spider with you for most times. So if you can think of ways. Say again. I'm pairing you up, my sp- up there, Spence. I'm pairing up my spider with you. So if you could think of ways to use it to give yourself advantage for aid, just go. How does? How? Oh, the little spider. Okay. Yeah, tiny spider. Not. I was referring to the horse spider, and I'm like, I'm not sure what to do with that. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Gollum, so can. Maybe Einar, then Esmeralda. Then yeah. Mimi. Then I've... Ismark. Alarad. Um, I think the R- Castle Ravenloft is one of those situations where having someone with really good eyes uh, is really useful. Uh, You're right. If there's magical traps, then Mia, or not Mia, <laughs> Mimi. <laughs> All right, um, so here's, here's what I'm going to suggest. Assuming every hallway is at least two squares wide, right? My suggestion would be golem like here so can put uh, Einar up next to me Esmeralda and Mimi behind them then we'll do uh, Allardad 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 and Ismark Uh, can we get the horses off (laughs) Oh, sure. <laughs> don't, don't get the horses Excuse off. Me, That's it's not... a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> we could. I mean, I don't know how long of a rest you want to take. I I don't know how that's going to help. Uh, so I would say Allardad and uh, Ismark behind them. Okay. And then Nakare and the guy whose name I can never remember behind them. Casimir. Thank you. What about um, what about Irina? Emia holds up the Irina doll. Oh gosh! <laughs> I, I I told you that she she's dead. She's totally dead. You should put her in the armor so that she's super safe inside the giant robot. Good idea. Put her in the shield guardians, Tommy. Yeah, that's I'm, the safest place in the world. Guardian. E Irina, and then Irina will pilot the shield guardian. <laughs> That's how this works. Burst out of its chest like an alien. All right, and <laughs> I can uh, spider stealth into rooms sometimes too. So just remind me to do that. Any any objections to this marching order? Um, oh. my only objection is be uh, one square off each time. Just we're not too bunched up. Okay, so yeah. we stay yeah, five. We sense. have five feet gaps in front of all of us. Yeah, yeah we'll put a, we'll put a five foot berth between every wave. Okay, cool. We come in waves now. I frowny face. Okay, so that gives Mimi. Um, okay, so that gives her thirty feet in front. Well, forty feet in front of the shield. Um, I mean, it, you should be close enough to the front that your true vision will help, but you won't be put in danger as a result. Mm-hmm. And if there's, like, a doll in the darkness, it's just uh, yeah. all the lights turning off and then turning on, and then the doll's moving closer, she can be like, hey, that doll is actually cartwheeling toward us. Um, it's not teleporting, it's cartwheeling. All right. So we're in this courtyard. Does anything bad? Well, is this happen? is this how we ride up to the castle? Is this is did this just happen, Claire? What? Tell tell me tell me what happens. Well, I think this is uh, this is kind of you're you're talking it out on your way because you know you you've essentially got two days to be making preparations, and so uh, I showed you the picture of Castle Ravenloft as you approach it. Yep, I'm, just, I'm going to give a rallying speech before anything happens, so let me know mm-hmm. when you do that. Well, it is a towering structure. It's enormous. It has these great big walls. It overlooks this massive cliff that just plummets off into the distance. And, uh, I mean, if you, if you fall, it's certain death. Um, so don't fall off. But, you know, 
I was making a plan for that. God damn it. And then the... Uh, the... Right, you can't fall. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there's a few towers on the structure. A couple real big ones, one of which has like, you know, kind of like a little hat, as towers do. <laughs> there's this outer kind of portcullis that has a drawbridge. The drawbridge is currently down, so you can just... Uh, go in to the courtyard, essentially. And I lost my description. But as you as you're crossing the drawbridge, it begins to to drizzle slightly. It's been getting cloudier. Uh, there's like a fog oh, rolling in. I saw that in my vision, not in my vision, mm -hmm. in, in the cards. It was in the cards. It was going to rain. Sorry. Continue. That's a terrible day for rain. Well, luckily we're going to be inside pretty soon. Well, well, a lot hopes. You hope so. <laughs> hey, weren't we supposed to go to a crypt that was just near Castle Ravenloft? Uh, it's under Castle Ravenloft, and the entrance oh. is probably inside. For most like old old statey catacombs and such, they were on the grounds. It's just yeah. that like they didn't only bury um, the people yeah. who lived in the house there. They often buried like you know nobles that lived nearby, etc. Et Basically, anybody yeah. that was a high enough standing to uh, the Admiral of, of Barovia is buried here, right? Like a risk of grave grave rubbing or any uh, station of significance would be buried in the catacombs under the castle. After winding through the forest and craggy mountain peaks, the road takes a sudden turn to the east, and the startling, awesome presence of Castle Ravenloft towers before you. Jesus. Uh, awesome! That's mm, really big. Mm. Before you, there are twin turrets of stone, broken from years of exposure. Beyond these guard towers is the precipice of a 50-foot-wide fog-filled chasm that disappears into unknown depths. A lower drawbridge of old, short-up wooden beams stretches across the chasm between you and the archway to the courtyard. The chains of the drawbridge creak with the wind, their rust-eaten iron straining under the weight. From atop the high walls, stone gargoyles stare out at you, their hollow eye sockets gleam. They have hideous grins chiseled onto their faces. There is a rotting wooden portcullis, green with mold and rot, hanging above the entry tunnel. Beyond this, the main doors of Ravenloft stand open. A rich, warm light spills out from within, flooding the courtyard. Torches flutter sadly in sconces on both sides of the open door. Mist and fog descend. You know, it would have been really weird if the drawbridge were closed, right? I mean, that would be awkward. <laughs> uh, <laughs> little pig, little pig, let us in. Not by the hair on my... Sunsword, sunsword, sunsword. So now we... <laughs> now we so are... I'm assuming we kind of, like, ride across the bridge and into the courtyard? Yep. Yeah, you ride across the bridge and into the port. Right the, the, the courtyard, even. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, baby. Right Dead in the mouth. Of the I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull ahead, and uh, kind of like you know, uh, recorder my horse back and forth once or twice, kind of like letting people know to stop. And I'm gonna hop down, and just like I did in that village in in Barovia the one time, I'm gonna take my sword and I'm gonna scrape it across the ground right here. And uh, I'm going to point forward, and I'm going to point back. And it's going to be... What's he trying to say? Has he lost his tongue? Yeah. Last yeah. chance. So can. I'm going to point across the line. Did you lose your tongue? Line. I'm going to point across the line. Oh, can you guys not hear me? Oh, oh we can hear you. Uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> you made me think I couldn't... Mm, you ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> I just yelled, charge! And we got... No, uh, I, uh, I'm going to point in front of the line, <laughs> and I'm going to point Leroy behind the line, token. and I'm going to point in front of the line again, and 
uh, just say this side of the line death not a chance we're all gonna die there we'll point at Castle Ravenloft I That's... don't mind that yeah I know oh, You're weird this enough. isn't a conversation this is a speech <laughs> no it's it's all good anybody can interrupt I'm not trying to, to take the spotlight I just wanted to say something before we go um, everything in there is going to try to kill us it's probably going to succeed we're not the first ones here. We probably won't be the last ones here. And I'm going to point behind the line. Last chance. If you want to live here, amongst this, in this awful place with these awful people, go. No qualms. Last shot. And I'm going to see if anybody goes. I... I, I'm gonna raise my hand and be like, it's so good. Uh, the shield guardian's already passed the line. Well, that, the <laughs> idea was that I rode out in front of him. I, uh, I look and I'm like, I've been complaining this whole time we've been here about being here, and I'm not gonna just suddenly change my tune. I may have changed my mind about other things, but not this. And I cross the line. Everybody that um, crosses the line one at a time, I just want to uh, interact with them. If Casimir does it, I'm just going to put like a hand on his shoulder and try not to break his old broken frame. Uh, <laughs> Ray, I want to like, I'm going to pat him on the shoulder and kind of grab his bow and nod at him. Uh, Ismark, I'm going to kind of pick him up because like he, he impressed me in the last fight with his willingness to go up and down. Alarad, I was gonna pass, but I do I give him like a real hard just like double pat on the chest and a nod because he he fought well. Um Esmeralda, I'm gonna pass and uh I'm just gonna say to her, uh you bring the lightning, I'll bring the thunder. <laughs> And then I'm gonna go up to Einar, and She's I'm gonna like, grab him. Yeah, I'm gonna grab <laughs> Einar by his fucking vest, and I'm gonna headbutt him as hard as I can. <laughs> scream in his face, like, <laughs> like just <laughs> slap him on the fucking chest as hard as I can go. <laughs> the right here. I'm gonna oh, uh, turn to Mimi, and I'm gonna pat Chi on the head, and then I'm gonna give her a big kiss on the forehead, and kind of like <sighs> hold the back of her neck against my forehead like for just a, a longer than comfortable it sells and then I'm gonna turn to the uh, the golem and be like let's go right. Mimi gives Thokan an envelope you know I can't read right <laughs> okay do, do, you, do you want do you uh, want the let's... shield guardian to read for you? No, I, I tuck no. it away. It's not for anybody else. It's for me. Let's reduce my count of lead and inks by one. Sure. Um. So we we're good then. Uh. Yeah. All right. So now, now I beg the DM for inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you, 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 you have you inspiration. Have um, Thanks. definitely. And so we're in this courtyard. I assume. Do we see stables? Do we see, like, guards? No, you just see an empty courtyard, and open front doors, warm, inviting light. Hello, you warm. Know, I. It's a shame. It's. A, it's gonna. It's starting to rain because, you know, the courtyard. It looks like right about now is when the the care the groundskeepers should be arriving. Yeah, we could be having a barbecue. Uh, I look back at Alarad and I'm like, well, we still can. I mean, yeah, it's a shame you have to use fire to cook your food. Is all I'm saying. Really, it's unnecessary. Uh, that was a subtle hit that you should like, light the I castle on fire. Just eat bones. Oh yeah. Oh baby. I don't need fire anymore. 
All right, I'm gonna send my spider just really quick to sweep for anything hiding. Uh, there's doors next to us, it looks like. Yes, I believe they are locked. Uh, is it squeezable for a tiny creature to sneak under that can like flatten itself? Let's see. I don't want you to have to look at each door description, but. <laughs> well, they are. Uh... There are these big iron-bound doors with okay. built-in locks, but I don't know. A spider might be able to make it under. Okay. If you want, I can do that. Uh, what's under the one at the top? What'd you say? Oh, what's under the one at the top? Oh, uh, it's just this flagstone floor with a okay. hollow tower stretching high above it. So that's just a way to get up. To... There's there's basically just mechanisms for the drawbridge. All right. Well, now we know how to get where we have to go if we get locked out. That's where the drawbridge controls are. Uh... Oh, um. Oh, sorry. Uh, maybe Chia should be going up and taking a look to see if there's any, any, any stuff around the castle. Sounds like, like a plan. Spider searches the towers that would she flies to overhead. Us. Yeah. They're scouting. Uh, so okay, we... Well, we're gonna... Don't think she really is gonna find anything at the moment. Um, yeah, no. Chia does not see anything suspicious. Well, anything more suspicious than, you know, Castle Ravenloft. All right, let's let's uh, let's head inside, I guess, if that's what you all agree on. It looks like there's nothing that we need to know about yet. Yeah, I think that's where I'm going to call it. Okay. Uh, with you all deciding to go in. And you'll get, to, you'll get to find out why it's so warm and inviting next time. Mm. Isn't oh, Brave and Moth wonderful? Yeah, G, 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 everybody. Yeah. Cha, 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 cha. Uh, this is it. Fucking months of buildup. We're here. What? Welcome to your death. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I Probably. Don't know about that. I mean, we're doing pretty good. Some people go into this place much weaker than we are. We did a lot of adventure. You were cutting out pretty badly. No, I was Can just saying, we, we, we leveled pretty hard. We went around, we solved a lot of problems and got experience we did stuff in a rasno we're we're good we're good at this we're gonna be fine <laughs> we almost all died like 10 minutes ago oh that's true <laughs> yeah but that's really <laughs> only because i tried saving his <clears throat> all right so i could uh, i'll stop i'm gonna stop the stream and i'll keep this recording for goodbye the, internet goodbye we'll see you bye next bye week <laughs>